start sure. uh you're the captain am i uh unless i'm the captain now unless kz is the captain no no he was last week trying to if fucking say, steal if, him if from he's, if you say i'm the captain i have a very funny bit well, i'd like to hear pm do an intro i do like funny bits all right so say the words all right uh do it no, give me give me the title. Hand the title to me. Go ahead, Captain Pappen. Awesome. Jordan, you're fired. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm no longer captain. There you go, Carl. I thought you were captain gonna do Carl. like a funny intro. No, fuck no. I don't I don't fucking intro this shit. I've been on record for like a decade of refusing to do the intro of any podcast I've ever been a part of. We're not going to start this podcast till I hear an intro from you. PM, I'm okay, going to need an intro. All right, I guess we're just not doing the podcast today. PM, PM I'm going to need a quick intro from you. What is this shit called? <laughs> Dip Hello, ships. everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Dipships, the legitimate boating podcast. I am not your captain. I am, in fact, your rear admiral, PM. And joining me are... Who are you? Oh, fuck. I'm really high. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Cap Captain yeah, we got Captain Carl and uh, so something something signed Jordan. Ensign? Ensign. Ensign, that's it. Something signed Jordan. I was going to call him, like, Buccaneer. I forgot. <laughs> I don't. I don't handle pressure fuck. well. There was that good enough? That was a pretty good intro. That was pretty yeah, solid. Pretty All right. Yeah. Awesome. Solid. Uh, Maritime Medi will be joining us a little later. They are currently stuck on the, on the Southern State Parkway. Yeah, apparently someone died or something. I don't know. Rest in goddamn peace. I, I almost did. saw somebody die this week. Oh. Looking forward to hearing about your week then. Do we just get into it? I guess Let's we should get into it. it. All right, so I almost saw somebody die this Welcome week. Welcome to episode 40, everyone. Oh, uh, yeah, woo, yeah, who cares? Yeah, what the fuck? It's okay, we'll, we'll care at 50. 40, 40, is the, 40 is a bogus number. 40 Talk is a weird... Oh, is it because you're so close to it? <laughs> yeah, it's only two more years, PM. Keep it... Wait, what? <laughs> two no. More years? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. You... I almost believed you. <laughs> <laughs> You're 38, aren't you? No. <laughs> oh, sorry. Three more years then. Three and a half. <laughs> Wait, Jordan, I'm old, boy. <laughs> I can't keep doing this for you. <laughs> you were born in '87, right? Yeah. So right now you should be. Let's see. You're seven years younger than my mom, then. <gasps> oh, why, why'd you have to throw that oh, into the equation? Oh, I, do, I don't need your mother math. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh have I not God. told you that? <laughs> no, you have not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I, have, I have done a critical blow. <laughs> oh, God. I feel like the former Japanese PM. Oh, just <laughs> just a fucking chest little butt shot. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Rip, I guess. I don't know. No. Nah. Well, tell me about Not your week, you no. fucking 40-year-old okay. virgin. All right, so. I witnessed a hit and run. Kind of. Sort of. <laughs> Not really. But yes, kind of, sort of. So, uh, one night... I'm I'm going to work, waiting at the bus stop, and uh, across the street from me is a taxi. 
uh, taxis parked there. The dude, uh, taxi driver, is sleeping in his cab, <laughs> as as most uh, a lot of taxi drivers are wont to do. They've had a long night. They they're gonna park at the side of the road and and catch some Z's until somebody fucking wakes them up. All of a sudden, a I don't know how I, I I don't know the specific name for this car. You know those like uh vans that have like those uh dolly buckets at the back of them that lift people up to like fuck with wiring and poles and stuff. Yes, like a yes, like an electric van or something like that. Thing yeah, yeah. Some, it, something are you, to that. Are you talking about like a van that's large enough to lift someone in a wheelchair or something completely different? The ones no, that you no, used no, to like it, fix electric wiring and stuff. Yeah, it, it's I, got like a little crane at the back with a bucket, and somebody st- is in the bucket, and they get oh, lifted up. Oh, okay, I, okay, I get it now. Yeah, I forget yeah. exactly what they're called. I was very confused for a second. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I didn't describe it properly. So one of those pulls up uh, behind the taxi driver, like a little too close, but stops. Do- doesn't hit the dude. It's like okay, I guess he's. I guess this dude is going to fix something here. Instead of getting out of the car, dude just floors it and fucking rear ends the taxi driver. Okay. For seemingly no reason. He had plenty of room to, like, pass. The uh, The taxi driver had full right to be parked where he was. It just rear-ended him for no reason. Now, it, it wasn't a huge deal. It was, like, a, a, a minor fender bender. The dude probably hit, like, 10 kilometers an hour. Hit, hits the taxi driver, wakes him up, gets out of the car, and uh, I, I hear the the fucking uh, the, I'm gonna call him the trolley dude. Uh, I hear the trolley dude go, "Oh shit!" Like he, you did that yourself. Like un- unless he thought he was in reverse and just hit the gas and fucking like drove straight forward and fender bendered this uh, poor dude. But like whatever, I. So- I- I, I can get like a situation like that. You just get out, apologize, say it was an accident. Yeah, move so on. Th- they both get out, and I can't hear their conversation, but they're there talking for a minute. So I assume they're negotiating, like bringing out uh, uh, insurance information, all that stuff, right? So I hear Trolley Man go, All right, uh, le- let me go get it. It's in my car. Dude goes to his car. A street car is coming by. So he can't like fully get in uh, to the car because there's not enough space. So finally, the streetcar passes. He opens the door, gets into the car. Meanwhile, the taxi driver walks to the back of his car to try and get the license plate. Trolley dude closes his door and the taxi guy goes, oh, no, 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 no. You can't just get in your car and leave. And he, he starts the engine and starts to drive away. Taxi driver hops on to the fucking uh, uh, fu- uh, driver's side what the fuck? and just reaches into the fucking window and trolley dude drives off. As you do. With the man still attached to, uh, to the fucking driver's side window. What the fuck? Uh-huh. And they went like a good two blocks with home dude, like trying to Tom Cruise this shit, trying to fucking, I don't know, take the keys out of the car, knock him out. I don't know. Uh, but uh, trolley dude swerves the car. Taxi guy lets go of the car, goes flying. And then uh, trolley dude uh, uh, repositions uh, himself and drives off. And that's it. Taxi dude th- thankfully got up, limping a little bit. But he got up, uh, walked to the uh, to the sidewalk, and then my streetcar showed up. So I didn't see the rest of what happened. I assume he at least got the license plate then. Uh, probably. It was, it was like five numbers. I I was thinking about like pulling out my phone to like help the situation in some way, but I wasn't fast enough. The dude was like long gone by, by the time I had my hand on my phone. Yeah, it was fucking wild. I nearly, nearly saw a man die. That's fucking crazy. It was the last thing that I was expecting anything to happen. I, I should point out that when I heard the trolley guy go, oh shit, straight up sounded like he was slurring his words. <laughs> hmm. I think he might have been shit-faced, and that's oh, he why he was. decided to just fucking pull away. Because he's like, okay, if if cops get involved, uh, uh, they're gonna probably throw me in jail, take away my fucking trolley operating license, um, 
take my car, take everything away from him. Which, uh, f- frankly, he deserves if he is, in fact, shit-faced if, behind if the wheel. If he's just gonna, like, speed off with a guy hanging off of his door, yeah. He, yeah. Uh, what is it called? Reckless Endangerment? Yes. Yeah. And I believe you could probably get an assault charge out of that. DUI, if he's uh, driving under the influence. Oh, definitely DUI. And probably assault. Oh, yeah. The way he swerved his car to get the uh, taxi guy off of his uh, truck. Yeah, I, I would I would consider that assault. And it was battery. A sick, yeah, uh, it was a sick drift, by the way. I, I need to point out how <laughs> sick of a drift it was. Yo, based. Yo. It was straight up out of fucking... Um, oh, God, Mitchell what B. are they called? No, Fast not... Fast and Furious. Fast and the Furious, thank you. Uh, let's see, what else happened? Let me look at my notes. Oh, okay. Throwing hands with a can. I'm excited for this one. So, this happened the same night? Yeah, it was the same night, like, f- five minutes before uh, the whole taxi thing happened. Um, there is a very old gentleman, probably 60s, shit face walking down the street. Uh, I should point out this was on Thursday, so it was garbage day for, for this uh, particular street. So there's garbage cans uh, all, all up and down the street. And uh, home dude, drunk, is just cussing up a storm at seemingly nothing. Whatever, whatever catches his eye, he starts cussing out for no reason. At one point, he sees a uh, recycling bin and he starts cussing out the recycling bin. But like if he was like full stride walking down the sidewalk, he go he full stops and just starts like roasting this trash can for no fucking reason other than it being a trash can. What the fuck? I I think he thinks that the trash can is recuperating the shit talk <laughs> because it sounds like he's having a conversation with the trash can. Like rebuttling his trash talk his literal trash talk <laughs> with, with, with talk. actual trash talk. So eventually he just starts kicking the shit out of this trash can. And so while he's doing that past him is a group of like five or six kids. I say kids are about Jordan's age uh, walking down uh, the street. <laughs> yeah. Kids. They, they so see old. him. They see home dude. So they're like, we're just going to avoid him in case he wants to start throwing hands with us. And they uh, start walking out onto the street. So they're walking along the street, uh, along the sidewalk. And uh, eventually they pass the the trash can that home dude is uh, throwing hands with. And one of the kids, while he's walking past it, grabs the lid of the uh, recycling bin, throws it up, and it hits... The, the drunk dude, like, smack dab in the fucking head. Oh, He doesn't see it, obviously. He doesn't see the kid causing mischief. So what does he do? He fucking full-on tackles a trash can onto the fucking street. <laughs> and he's, like, trying to <laughs> like put he it in the headlock. Spear? Yeah, he, spear, he spears the fucking recycling bin onto the fucking street, and he's trying to put it in a fucking, like, Kimura lock. It was, it was fucking, it was stupid. And he's just rolling around in garbage and and on the street like he almost got hit by a car like twice. <laughs> no, it was fucking funny. And then like two minutes after that, uh, uh, the the whole taxi thing happens in front of me. It was a fucking wild night that night. And then the only thing I have left in my week ah a gaggle of lowriders. Low rider. Low rider. So, so last night. I, I pull up to work, and right in front of my building, there's just, like, ten lowriders, like, fancy-ass lowriders parked outside of uh, of my uh, workplace. And they're just there, hanging out, all fucking, like, um, they reminded me of Eddie Guerrero's uh, uh, ride that he mm-hmm. would ride out to the ring, where, like, none of these cars were, like, in regular car fashion. They were all like leaning sideways. One of them straight up looked like it was upside down. It was <laughs> leaned so far. Like one of them legit looked uh, tipped over. It was l- leaning so far. 
I don't know if there was some kind of car convention or whatever, but it was cool. And uh, there, there were some uh, tourists walking by, and they tourists. see the cars. And uh, one of them uh, gives his phone to his pal, and he goes in front of the car to uh, so that his buddy can take a picture of him. And the owner of the car goes, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. If you want to take a picture of my car or a, a picture with my car, $50. And I go, $50? For a fucking picture with the car? Get the now, fuck out of here. You know what, PM? Here. I've seen a lot of cars around here that are tricked the fuck out that have, like, signs on the windshield that say, do not take pictures of this car. Because, like, the owners are like, I, I charge for pictures of it. And it's like, what the fuck do you mean? But yeah, no, that's that's fucking ridiculous to take picture. Uh, first off, good luck stopping me, unless you're right there and you'd like start causing a stink. It is not illegal for me to take pictures of your car. Yeah, really. I, I, I would I would get like if I took a picture of your license plate. That's a little fucking whatever. But no, fuck off. I'll take a picture. I I nearly whipped out my phone and took a picture of it from afar out of principle. Like fuck you and your fifty dollars. You should have. I should have. But I was scared. They, they, they look like hooligans. <laughs> I'm not about that life anymore. I can't, I'm, I'm too old to be throwing hands. <laughs> Those little hooligans could have thrown hands and broke my back again. Legit. There were there were like six of them. Like some straight up fucking like no good hoodlums in these fucking lowriders. Hoodlums. Oh my god. You, you're so fucking old. It's disgusting. You know, they had some fine ass bitches with them though. I'm, hey, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yo, I'm 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 not in the game anymore though. I'm fucking no, I can't I can't hang. I had no game to begin with. Every every relationship I've ever been in has like fallen in my lap. I've never I've never gone out looking for 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 dates and and uh, like back when I was in high school and I had you know like a proper self esteem and uh, and a good body and uh uh what's it called uh uh, uh what's the word confidence and not broken confidence, back yeah. oh. and and a not broken back yes i lost more than a bit of my spine on that football field that day <laughs> you lost, lost your <laughs> cajones i i actually lost a lot on that fucking football <laughs> field now i come to think about it just about everything yeah pretty much no, I was going to say, wow, that's the last thing in your week, but there's so much here that you haven't gotten to. And I remembered you guys did an episode last week. Yep. And I was like, oh, I'll have to I, wait to I hear talked that. About, I talked about, yeah, all of that on, on the, oh, the bow and arrow. I'm sorry. I completely missed out on something. How do I start this? Mm -hmm. In the last like four, five-ish years, I've been noticing a lot of crackheads in Toronto. Uh-huh. Like... Like, there have always talk been, about like, the, occasional crackhead. But yeah, I've been talking a lot about crackheads recently. So much so that this bow and arrow story involves a crackhead. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Wasn't the mayor of Toronto a crackhead? Maybe that's why. No, Last not week. not the mayor. The... It wasn't of Toronto. I believe it was the pre... Oh, no, Doug Ford. Yes, yeah. Or what? No, it wasn't Doug Ford. It was his brother. So somebody in politics in Toronto or Ontario smoke crack. You are correct. La Last week's crackhead was probably my favorite. Most um, insane one yet. Oh, the the stick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the stick. Okay. So oh also these crackheads have gotten a lot more brazen. Well they'll just smoke crack on the street car, like, yeah, this is my street car. I'm a smoke crack in it. So that's what happened. I believe this was... When was the 6th? The 6th was Wednesday. So Wednesday morning on my way home, uh, I'm at the back of the streetcar, and that's where all the crackheads hang out. So I, I don't know why I choose to sit at the back of the streetcar, but lo and behold, here I am at the back of the streetcar. And then there's this lady, crackhead. I could tell because she was smoking crack. In the Ooh. back of the streetcar. <laughs> um, and, you know, she's doing her thing. I'm trying to avoid eye contact, but, like, look at my phone. Play Mass of Sex. Fuck you, Carl. I'm, I'm like, fully back in now because of you. You fucking Let's bitch. Let's go. <laughs> Whatever. A at least I got uh, What's-Her-Face and, and Celebi. I got her, too. Uh, do you have her three-star, though? No. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I just I did thought. two more pulls today, and I didn't get shit. I got Lyra, but I got her with Chikorita, and I screamed. I got... Uh, it's more uh, insulting than nothing. I have her at three stars, and I got uh, uh, fucking the, the little twat with Lugia. 
Hell yeah. What? Yeah, Ethan. Ethan? Yeah, Ethan. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I've been trying to get Crystal and then fucking uh, Suicin, but uh, I have no luck so far. Um, what did you just say? Yeah, Suicin. Suicin. That's how you pronounce it, Jordan. That's how you. That's how you say it. No. Yeah. Yes. No, it's Suicune. No, it's have not. You been... Oh, okay. It is a common misconception. A lot of people think it's Suicune, but it's actually Suicin. Yeah. Do you? What? Yeah. Jordan, it's Suicin. It's been it's been Suicin for almost as long, if not longer, than you've been alive. <laughs> Actually, yeah, just about. How to pronounce Suicune? Still saying it wrong. Anyway, continue, PM. Anyway, um, so yeah, lady, back of the back of the street car, smoking crack. Whatever, avoiding eye contact, mass of sex, whatever. All of a sudden, another. I assume another crackhead joins the fray, uh, an older gentleman, mm -hmm. and uh, these two crackheads start exchanging words. I can barely tell what these words are because it's all slurs, but uh, it they they seem it's to all be slurs. A, not 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 that kind of slurs. I mean, they're slurring their speech. Oh, all right, that makes a lot more sense. There was probably some slurs going on, oh, but probably. I honest, honestly couldn't tell what they were saying. So th there was a, an obvious aggression between these two. And they've, uh, they're not sitting close to each other. They're about like five seats apart. But the way the seats are positioned, they're facing each other. So uh, they... Uh, I nearly just choked. What the fuck happened? <laughs> How are you? Are right? you? I think I nearly choked on my tongue. I don't, like, I went to swallow because I had saliva in my mouth and I nearly choked on, on my what everything. What is going on? I'm sorry. Jesus Must be the crack. Um, the contact eye. Exactly. So, yeah, the, there's this clear aggression between these two. And dude says something that, that has the lady crackhead up in arms. And, like, literally up in arms because she reaches into her bag and pulls out a, a bow and arrow. Now, <gasps> no, what? What? Now, what? not a what? real bow and arrow. One of those fucking uh, uh, toy nerf ones. ones. No, not even nerf. Well, probably nerf. It, it's one of those bow bow and arrows where the arrow just has like a, a sticky cup at the end of it. <gasps> so what does she do? Fire. She's, no, she spits on the floor. Yeah. Just hawks okay. a fat loogie onto the floor, uh -huh. takes the arrow, and dips it in it, <laughs> then primes her bow and arrow, and she goes, I'm gonna fucking do it. the most clear uh, uh, out of the whole, like, fucking five-minute conversation that she has. She aims and points it at him and goes, I'm gonna fucking do it. And he goes, you better not fucking do it. And she does it. She lets go. She releases. And this crack... Must give you excellent aim. Because she pinpoint position fucking dead ass in the forehead. And it <laughs> sticks. It sticks because of the fucking saliva. This bitch turned him into a fucking unicorn. And I am dying. I am dying. I am dying. I cannot hold it in. As soon as he turns into a unicorn, I get up. Because I don't want to laugh at the situation. Because I laugh at the situation, then all of a sudden the crackheads get mad at me. Their gaze turns towards me. So I get up. I run to the front of the streetcar. The next stop that shows up, I get off and I start pissing myself laughing. <laughs> One of the funniest things I've seen all year. PM, how the fuck do you encounter this many crackheads? I, I I don't know. I don't know. This is oh, this, dude, this is, is amazing. What, three crackheads in two weeks. I'm good, man. I'm good. I don't need any more. I've had my fill. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that's an average of one every four days. Okay. Yeah. There. I'm done now. Wow, big boy. I think. I'm going to go next so Carl can have all the time to talk about RTS. So much. So my week was watching a lot of things and reading a lot of things and listening to some things. Mm -hmm. um, I watched all of Kaguya-sama and then read up to catch up. 
within 24 hours of catching up to the anime. Is it not done with the anime? Is the anime no, the, not at an end point? What do you mean? Like, the, the anime ending isn't the same as the manga ending? Carl, the anime ends at chapter, like, 135. There's 261 chapters. What the fuck? Is is the manga done? Uh, it ends in like thirteen chapters. Oh, okay. So, that's one of the best pieces of romantic fiction I've ever consumed. Yeah, it's really good. I watched all three seasons. Also, I'll get to it at some point. It is genuinely the funniest comedy anime I have ever watched, because it's not afraid to make every character a punching bag. Yeah. This like, this anime to me seems more digestible than that other romantic comedy that was on everybody's radar for a little while. It, it was that one with the really like big buff ugly dude and the and the super cute uh, little woman. Oh, uh, Ore Monogatari. Was it that? I think so. I don't remember. My but love yeah, story. You, yes, my life's uh, my love story. Yeah, yes, that, Ore Monogatari. That's, that was that's the one. Yeah. I was like, what uh, the fuck you guys are you obsessed about? over it. Yeah, because you, uh, you... I don't know if Jordan I, I obsessed over it, but Casey. I liked it a lot. No, this was, like, way before Jordan was introduced. Uh, 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 like, our whole friend group was obsessed with that anime. Posting memes about it on the like, Twitter um, all the goddamn time. Home. Uh, like, a fear, like, a fear I had with Kaguya going into it was that, like, Kage would just be punching down on Shirogane, the male guy, mm. the entire time. It is nothing like that. Oh, yeah. Kaguya might be, and I mean this as nicely as possible, the biggest bottom in fiction. <laughs> it's so funny. She she's like, if I say so this hard. thing, that she'll just say that I'm super cute and look down on me. And meanwhile, she's just like, if I hold this hand a little longer, I'm going to pass out. She's so, this series is so fucking good. And uh, Chica is every aspect of cat distilled into one character yeah including the ne in yeah you'll understand even more when you read it carl if you read it now jordan i need you to because i'm planning on rewatching it again sub because i watched it all dubbed i need you mm -hmm. to watch that dub because it's fucking immaculate I've, I've watched the second season dubbed because i was having trouble keeping up <laughs> in the first season but since all of season three isn't dubbed apparently yeah the last two I episodes aren't to, dubbed yet, which is a shame. I decided to just stick with the sub because I didn't feel like switching in between. Yeah, like I watched the last two episodes of season three subbed, and I'm like, well, <laughs> when I watch it all subbed, I'm going to watch the last two episodes dubbed, and it's going to be really funny. Welcome, Meddy. Hello, Meddy. Son of a biscuit. You made it. You made it. I hate. I have only hate in my heart. Yeah, this is the Southern State Parkway for you. Yep. It's uh not fun sometimes. Oh, no, no, no. It's nowhere near as bad as Don't get me wrong. But still. Carl, I'd like to apologize in advance. Mm -hmm. Because you two chuckle fucks pressured me into doing the intro so goddamn fast. Or so much. Uh, we did not do a clap sync. Oh, that's fine. All right. Yeah. You, anyway. Again, you don't understand how I don't actually use the clap sync. We just yeah, do it for I, no I, reason I, every I time. I know. It's, it's our mostly ritual. a bit to do a clap sync. TBQH. Carl, do you have anything else to say about Kaguya-sama? Because I just... All I have left is that that's, like, one of the best romance stories I've ever read. Yeah, no, read. it's probably and, one of my favorite fucking anime series. And I am dead serious when I say they saved the best joke in the entire series until the very end. Yeah. No, no, I'm talking about the manga. Oh. Well, now I'm excited for that. The, jo the joke should be they fall in love with completely different people right at the very end. I would burn that entire company to the ground. Uh, that, the series <laughs> no, would be I've, bad. I've seen the last page, and yes, I agree with Jordan. Let's see. I went and saw Thor Love and Thunder in theaters. I thought it was good. I forgot things about it. It's a, it's, a, it's a Marvel movie. They're usually going to do pretty well now. It, it's, it was just a good vibes movie. I liked it. Came out of it very happy. I feel like even the worst Marvel movies now are like... Okay, uh, with, at, at worst, uh, Eternals. That's the that's like their oh. biggest low point. <laughs> that movie was like a two. I honestly forgot that movie existed. Yeah, so did ev so did everyone. <laughs> what, what movie what was Eternals. Eternals? Eternals. What movie? Yeah, exactly. 
What was that uh, one movie? Um, the, the the Seven Rings. Shang Chi. Yeah, that one. I haven't I seen know. that yet. I forgot that, one was that one all... existed too. That one was all right until the third act. No. Um, I mean, like most Marvel movies. Yeah, depends. Morbius is a solid ten the whole way through. Today I started listening to an audiobook. I started listening to John Moxley's audiobook. That's like his book, narrated by him. Yep. Well, the All right. Be listening to books. Just read. It's a yeah. wrestling book. That's why. It's not really like an autobiography in the traditional sense that would like go over his life in like a linear fashion. It's more just like excerpts where he just talks about specific moments in his life and then just goes on like a tangent about it for five to ten minutes about it. How much of it is him being on a bender for several years? I haven't gotten there yet. It's a yeah. nine hour long audiobook, so I have a feeling wow. we'll get there. It was released as it was released right as soon as he went into rehab last year, so just don't be on yeah. drugs. I don't think he had a drug problem. I think it was a drinking problem. Oh, I believe it was, a, it was a drinking problem. Yeah, I feel like a drinking problem is a lot Me sadder too, than a drug problem. Let, let's say this. John Moxley looks like modern day Sandman. And I only say that because wow. drugs fuck you up a lot more than alcohol. Alcohol is a lot sadder. How? I mean, this isn't past wrestling where it was everything. It was it was a, a, a literal cocktail of drugs and alcohol. The... And I'm and I'm not talking about the light shit. I'm talking about everything. Like, uh -huh. uh, what's his name? Iron Sheik, motherfucker, been on cocaine. Motherfucker, still on cocaine. Oh, he have you stopped. read his Twitter? Uh, dude, I don't have to. It's it's the same. It, it's like a fucking Mad Libs of mm -hmm. of his fucking uh, tweets. It, it's something got to do with Jabroni and Hulk Hogan and probably cocaine and who knows. I think uh, so far my favorite part of the book has been a story that Mox told where he and his friend Mario in their early 20s um, were told by his dad to go deliver like a bunch of groceries to his dad's like subordinate because he was going through a hard time. And when the guy was asking like um, who would they were. Moxley was told to just call themselves anonymous gifters. Okay, it was just a really nice story. Where like, do they get to see his brother Luigi? No, <laughs> that was a very long no. He should he should have just held on on the sandbag. If I you're gonna hold, if you're gonna hold for that long. You you stay in silence until somebody breaks. So you said they went to see Mario. You got to see Luigi too. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. We get the joke. That's we why we it. sandbagged. Oh, well, Medi said I don't get it. This is all your fault, PM. Was that your whole <laughs> week, Jordan? Uh, was there anything else in my week? Uh, oh, I watched two YouTube videos that are very important. Yes, they are. I watched the. Traveling across the country to every rainforest cafe in America. I don't care about ah. this shit. I don't care about this fucking garbage. <laughs> yeah, they're really I, good I, videos. I, I, am, I do have not watched it, but I, am, I want to. I am disowning this bit. We are moving on. I, I am jordaning this situation. I don't care about this <laughs> PM, fucking video. Good video. I don't give a Jordan fuck. PM, we can meet up at fucking Niagara Falls and go to two different rainforest cafes and see Niagara Falls. And, and we can I've see the shark they have in the tomato ass. one. There is no reason to go there. And you can meet us. I've never... I, I... I Okay, granted, it's been like fucking 15 plus years since I last went. I've never been to a location that's... I, I didn't think the place called Rainforest Cafe would go through the effort to mimic the humidity that goes on in a rainforest in the actual cafe. Well, yeah, they have I, a fucking I, thunderstorm in there every 30 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. I hate it. Carl. Yeah? I would like to make the call that when we do the dipships meetup, that we will be crossing from the Niagara Falls and dragging PM down to the rainforest cafe in Canada. Of course, yeah. Huh. Kicking and screaming the whole way, yes. It is the official restaurant of dipships. 
Yes. I will. I, no. You do not put this evil on me. <laughs> yes. I will. I will. I will disown this podcast if you put if you put that evil on this podcast. <laughs> Come on, PM. There's a rainforest cafe Sorry, with PM. a with a fucking PM, boat ride that, in Texas. They did actually yeah, that one's pay in us. Texas. That one's... Yeah. What if they did pay us? What if it wasn't a bit all of a sudden and they did pay us? It's got to be at least four figures for me for me to remotely care. Four figures. I mean, yeah, the rainforest cafe. They got enough money. I don't. Know, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't yeah. know about that. They, they went got from the animatronics in every single location. They went from thirty-five locations to fucking sixteen in the span of a couple of years. I don't. I don't know if they have that kind of money. If if we get four figures, I will reown the bit. Until then, I am disowning the rainforest cafe. Well, is that your whole week, Jordan? That's my whole week, but good luck to PM having to disown this bit every week for the rest of time. I am so much older than you. I have gained so much more patience. I've had to suffer through KZ bits. Don't, don't, don't think you can test me. I'm far more patient than you. Anyway, Matty, how was your week? Oh, you know, I've been working. It's Sounds been, like uh, a man. Man, work sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to my world. Welcome to all of our worlds. Hey, but that money's nice. Money. Uh, money's very nice. Money's very, very nice. Nice to pay rent. Yeah. Yeah, felt really good to pay rent. Nice to go get a slice of pizza whenever you want. No, I think the funniest thing is every time Medi's handed me rent, Medi shorted me $100 for the rent. Have I? Yeah. Why is why is this podcast getting so real? Wait, is what it, happened? What happened? <laughs> Wait, is it? It's one. Ten, it's one ten or one one hundred rather eleven 1, hundred. I fucked up my I words. I thought for a it was just one thousand. I know. I know. It's 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 fair and I'm fine. I'm moving out. <laughs> all right. I'll see y'all in hell. <laughs> this extra hundred dollars has gone too far. I'm out of here. That's yes, that, up with that, that, that money was that the breaking been used. point. In fact, how'd you know? No, but actually, I didn't. I didn't know. I know. I know. I know. I'm just making fun of you. <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> Why'd you wait until what the is podcast? It now? For, because no, 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 it's funny. But, no, obviously, not, not not about up in, uh, the, until the podcast. Why'd you wait like four months to tell him? Because I forgot to. Oh, okay. So this is your fault then. This is your fault. This you is were like too much landlords. of a pussy to actually bring it up. No, now. this is like landlords increasing the rent and and going like four months later, going, "Hey, we increased your rent and you haven't been paying us." Well, you, I never got I never got a letter in the mail. No, it was me just going. Oh, I'll remind them later and then forgetting, because a lot of things have been happening all of the time. God, things are always God, happening. God, you're right. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, continue with your week. My sweet little baby. Why are you stalking people, Medi? Stop stalking I, people. Yes. Um. I I had a woman uh scream at me while I was doing my job uh to stop following her and that she was gonna call the police. And I was just kind of like, like actually pushing an L cart full of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, like a U boat full of. Full of stuff for the store. Yeah, you're making your rounds. You're putting shit yeah. on shelves. So yeah. And she's like, stop following me. I will call the police. Lady. I'm just working, ma'am. Uh, and she started getting more screamy. And she uh, wanted to call. Oop, I didn't mean to hit that button. <laughs> <laughs> well, common writers on this podcast now. Uh, she started getting more screamy. And, uh, she wanted to talk to a manager and I was like, sure, I'll get a manager for you right away. You stay right here. And I just kept going about my business and I mm -hmm. never heard from her again. <laughs> yeah. That's what you awesome. do. You fucking ignore them. <laughs> yeah. The worst thing, cause I also worked at a Walmart in, in my teenage years. It, it was for school. So I wasn't even getting paid. This was all for a fucking uh, grade. This was my co-op class. That sucks, and, donkey doo doo. Yeah, I and I wanted like something 
because I, I was I wanted to be a professional wrestler back in the day. So I wanted something in that field, like at all, whether it like working in a gym or something. And I got fucking nothing. So all I got uh, got left with was like be a DJ, which uh, ew, no, I'm I'm <laughs> I have no ear for uh, music production or working at Walmart. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll work at Walmart. Um, yeah, the worst thing that happened to me there was I accidentally misgendered a, a person. This, like, 80-year-old bald lady was like, D- do you know where the wrapping paper is? Oh, and, no. And I was so fucking high. And I'm like, sorry, sir, I don't know. And she's like, it's ma'am. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. And I walked away to laugh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. I mean... Listen, sometimes you're just too tired, too high, and someone's too fucked up, and you know. I was so fucking high. I think I, I think at some point I got really bored with fucking Walmart, so I started taking acid. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I, I really could see that. I remember I... I, I had my cart. I, I I only worked two aisles. It was a seasonal aisle. And for some reason, I had a copy of... Oh, God. What the fuck was it? I think it was Mystery Men. Like an Let's HD... Go. Like, like an HD Master of Mystery Men in my cart. And I was just staring at this fucking... Uh, at this Mystery Men DVD. And the characters were talking to me. <laughs> like the characters were coming to life on the DVD case. And they were, t- and they were talking to me. Uh, and they... And they were telling me to steal bits and pieces of Halloween costumes so I could be a superhero. I, all right, did you? No, no, I was because you could have been a superhero. No, no, I did. I I stole like a, a like a dog the bounty hunter uh, piece of a costume. It was it was like uh, the, the the fingerless gloves with the fucking like metal studs on the knuckles. I had one of those. And that's it. Only only one. I couldn't find the other one. And I was desperate looking for this fucking glove because fucking Ben Stiller was yelling at me to fucking find the other glove. And I just couldn't. I just couldn't find it. I'm I'm sorry, Ben. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get him. Get him. him. I I, I didn't even notice. Anyway. Uh, Let's see. God, I miss my PlayStation Vita. You not have a, a Vita TV? No. Wait, does, does, does that even work anymore? They do, but they're like six times as expensive as just getting a PS Vita. Right. I got uh, one free when I got my fucking PS4. Except I don't have a memory card, so I can't fucking play anything on it. I was sitting in a dispensing for online orders, mm-hmm. and uh, that was my job the other, de- the other day. For six hours, I was just sitting down doing nothing until someone walked up or until a car pulled up. And I was sitting there like, I really could be playing anything right now if I had my PS Vita. Like, I could just hop on the Wi-Fi and it would tunnel over here and connect mm-hmm. to my PS4. I could be playing Yakuza 6, uh, 7 right now. Tell you what, Mehdi. When I'm inevitably forced to go to a Rainforest Cafe. Yes. With you guys. Uh, I'll give you my PSP Go. Hell yeah, PSPs are <laughs> also the best. Love PSPs. Is that even functional now i mean because it's an online only psp and i don't know if the psp store is still up i don't believe so but it's hacked so you can oh like okay. I, like you can play battle network on it Ooh. you do that with a switch now and 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 you could just dump fucking psp roms on it like that, that's how i played um oh god what's a uh, birth by sleep you can play that on a switch now uh, true, you can. Oh, yeah, Medi, why don't you just bring your Switch? A Switch is a lot larger than a PSP and PS Vita. Ah, uh, yeah. right, yes. Being yeah, I could fair. fit a PSP or a Vita in my pocket. Yeah. I mean, if you got a Switch Mini, but even then, I don't know how many those exactly are. I think they they're are actually, not. yeah, like, fairly big still. Yeah, I, I have one. The Switch Lite, they're, they're barely small. Yeah. Barely a mini. What else happened, Medi? Unless you're allowed to wear parachute pants at, at Walmart. I doubt that. Oh, uh, what else did happen? Let's see. Oh, I guess since the last time we talked, uh, did I talk about starting the gaslighting Olympics? I don't I think, think the, the last time we talked, you talked about Carl making the pog 
the Gerber ah, yes, pog the Gerber face. baby face. All right. Oh. So, um... It's not true. It's it, 100% it true. You Sorry, did buddy. It, you did it for the thumbnail. No. That's how stop. true it was. Stop. So, uh... I now believe I can convince my coworkers of anything. Okay. As I told you about Sweet Caroline without guns. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, it's devolved. Like, pretty far. Like, it, it's devolved past horse shampoo. I'm sorry? Horse shampoo? Oh, yeah. See, there's a shampoo called Mane and Tail. It's actually really good for your hair. Ah, yes, yes. That's that's a real thing. This mm-hmm. is not gaslighting. That is a real thing. It's cheaper than most human shampoos, even. That's what someone who would gaslighting would say. I, shit, you're right, but <laughs> you're gonna have to take my word for it that at this exact second in time, I am not gaslighting anybody. Yeah, that's like trying to convince somebody it's pronounced suicide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted him to believe it so bad. I want I want a Bluetooth electric boogaloo. <laughs> Bluetooth you would fucking bite bite the bait. Oh, that's even funnier because uh, you said it before on the podcast too. You talked oh, about that oh, exact I did, story. I, I did remember. So what did you convince them of, Medi? Okay, so I very briefly had a co-worker convinced I had a glass eye. Okay. Like, <gasps> uh, I had a magnet in my shirt, and I was like, oh yeah, one of my ribs is made entirely of metal. And I stuck the magnet, uh, a different magnet against the magnet in my shirt, and it stuck there, and he was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> and I kept sticking metal things against me like, yeah, look, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Let's see. You do understand that at some point one of them is going to throw like a fork or something at you and it's not going to stick and they're going to be like, you lied to me. Yes. No, it'll just stick the, the wrong way. That, yes. that, that ouchy boo-boo kind of way. That's when you say, no, but that's not like made of the right kind of metal. <laughs> no, Yeah, you hit the wrong rib. Uh, you know how I have those glasses for driving at night for the glare? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, what do you mean? I always wear glasses. Yeah, I have an astigmatism. <sighs> Every ha- single time I've to. come in here, I've had glasses on. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've just... never not worn these glasses. It's so fucking cruel. <laughs> you're so fucking mean. <laughs> I mean, this is the uh, shit that I would do, too. All right, the thing is... They've also been trying to gaslight about certain things, and they're just, like, terrible at it. Like, one or two, when they figure something out, also try to try to involve themselves in telling the big lies, and they, they, they just... Bad at it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because they never pick anything, like... I'm not going to say anything small, but you know what I mean, like... Something you can fake easily. Mm-hmm. Something believable. Yeah, and instead it's always like, like shit, like oh yeah, I, I have a Lambo at home. You, you literally don't. Mm-hmm. You don't have a single car. I know, because you pulled up your Facebook the other day and were complaining. It like, like you get your mom to drive you from place to place. Like, it... oh oh yeah, I have a girlfriend. She lives in Canada though. Exactly. PM. Are you the hmm? girlfriend? No. <laughs> no. You know, PM could say that and it would work. It's true. It could work. Is is the Canadian thing like, oh yeah, I have a girlfriend, but uh she lives in Mexico. Uh, uh it was usually like America or or like on the fucking bumfuck end of uh, of Canada, like in uh, BC or or Newfoundland. It's like, oh yeah, I got a girlfriend. She lives in Quebec though. Like, uh huh. That sounds right. about right. Speaking of Canada, PM, what happened to Canada? The internet week? went down. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rogers and also Fido. Um, Dog. Two major, like, internet service providers and cell phone service providers just shit the bed. They just went down for the entire country, or at least nationwide. <laughs> that, that, that's how uh, they put it nationwide. For Americans, Rogers is Verizon. Yes. Yes. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, we were down for, like, uh, almost 24 hours. Yeah, but here's the thing. Like, two days before, 
my internet went down for like several hours, like four or five hours. And it came back, but it was considerably worse. And then the next day, it was just down entirely. And also my cell phone service. So I was out without my cell phone for like a full day. Oh, don't worry, PM. People were concerned as they started messaging me going, have you heard from PM? I was like, no, I'm not his caretaker. Also, we, we go... If it weren't for this podcast, we would go weeks without speaking uh, with each other. Yeah, probably. That, yeah. That, that's just yeah. the kind of person I am. I don't reach out to people. If you reach I mean, to me, I'll, I'll respond. But I don't actively like reach out to people. Uh, PM, before I joined, when was the last time we talked? Like three years? <laughs> oh, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> maybe longer. Yeah. Pro- I, I think the last time we talked was maybe if you were ever in uh, Carl's stream. Was probably the yeah, last time we talked. Yeah, probably, probably a TTT night or something. Yeah, like I have, like me and Carl or me and KZ have been friends for uh, over a decade. What the fuck, Carl? Uh, you can count on your fucking fingers and toes how much I've started a conversation via DM with you. Yeah, actually, just about. Like I'm, I'm terrible at initiating conversations to the point where. Uh, during the era of me uh, doing Nuzlocke with KZ, he would make me initiate Oof. conversation uh, to to get the Nuzlocke going. And he knows how much I hate that. But, he, <laughs> but he, uh, in a way, I appreciate it because it helped me get out of my shell a little bit more. I still don't reach out to anybody, but if you if you reach out to me, I, I tend to reach back. Unless you're not a mutual, then you can fuck off and run. I gotta reach around. Then you'll go to hell. Was that your week, Millie? Right. Yeah, that was my whole week. That, right, I want to spring ball, right. I want to springboard off of you your gaslighting to talk about how I've been fucking with the summer kids at work. Ah, uh, excellent. <laughs> and my favorite thing to do, messing with the summer kids all of the goddamn time. One of them went to go uh we were in the, the home ec room and they had they were cleaning off the uh not the grills, the racks in the, the ovens. Mm-hmm. And he like spent all day from like eight in the morning until one in the afternoon cleaning them all. And when he finished, he's like, "Oh, thank God, I'm finally done." And I went, "I don't know why you're celebrating. There's a whole other room full of stoves in the next room over." <laughs> <laughs> and he just so stared mean. at me. God, you <laughs> so he stared at me. He's like, "You're fucking with me." And he walked out and he checked. I started fucking losing it. Oh my god, it was so fucking funny. The people suck. There's this one kid that works with us. <laughs> I fuck with him all the time. I walk up to him and I go, what the fuck are you doing, huh? You just fuck his ass. I grabbed him by the collar one time, held him up to the whiteboard. What the fuck are you doing, huh? And he was like, I'm working. I'm like, oh, okay, just making sure. I just walk away from him. <laughs> and he's like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, oh, Carl, a couple things. Carl, you don't, you don't understand. These kids are going to start their own podcast like 10 years from now. <laughs> And you, and you, you are going to be, gonna like, be man, that the sole subject for, for like oh. a fucking five weeks of content. I actually got one more thing. Oh. So, uh, Carl is aware of this, but my former roommates, oh boy, did they love a certain game. Okay. You ever play gay chicken? Uh, oh, right. I've. I've heard of gay chicken. I was so confused. Like, where is this going? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. Why don't you so, go ahead uh, and describe what gay chicken is? You don't know gay chicken? <laughs> I mean, for the audience at home. I unfortunately, I well, I think I know. It's been a long time. Maybe the rules have changed. <laughs> the rules have changed. War has changed. <laughs> Maybe it got gayer. I don't know. But that's the point of gay chicken. You slowly get gayer and gayer until someone can't stand it. And they bow out. Or I guess you get married. One of the two. That's the other. Yeah, that's the other. That's the other end, I guess. Anyway. So one of my coworkers, the, one of the things he likes to do is, uh, like Carl, he likes to get right up on people. Like pressing up on people with the wide shoulders. You know, like, back hey, straightened hey, what, up, like, up, like, oh, what's, what's up, bud? Yeah, Bumping chests. Yeah. Like, yes, what's exactly. Good? What's good? Like he's, like he's about to start something. Bumping me. And uh, he was one hundred percent not expecting me to go. <laughs> <laughs> like I did that, and he just fucking like jumped backwards across a whole room. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh goody, oh good, I get to use this against everybody. 
Get your this is the person who is the closest to me in fucking with people. And he's bad at this. <laughs> Love a good game of gay chicken. Unfortunately, it will not work on the 9 million lesbians who work at the store. I mean, yeah. But, you know. Hey there, everybody. This is your captain speaking, just cutting in, as always, to do a little bit of housekeeping. I'll let you all know a couple things going on. And all that stuff, it's pretty much the same as always, you know, so we'll just hop right in real quick. If you'd like to keep up to date with the podcast, want to know what's going on and everything, you can follow us over on Twitter at DipShipsPod, and you can follow each of us indiv individually, almost got it in one, at the Calamity Carl, at EXPayline, at GFPPM, and at MetorMan. Also, if you have any questions, fan art, topics for us to talk about, anything like that, that you would like to let us know about. You can tweet it at us at dipshipspod, or if Twitter's not your thing, send it over to dipshipspod at yahoo.com and we check it every day. I get every notification about emails that come in on that on that email. If you would like to support us directly, you can do so by going over to patreon.com slash dipshipspod and you can sign up for any tier that we have available from one to fifty dollars. Let's be real here. We, we, we encourage that if you sign up for the $50 or $20 tiers, that if, if you cannot afford to do that for more than one month, just bump it down. Like, if you want to bump down to five after that, that's understandable. We get it. Like, we super get it. I've done that plenty of times to places. Like, yeah, I'll pay $20 a month for this and then just bump it down after because I just want that benefit for a month. So don't don't feel shame in doing that. But yes, we have many things uh on the way for Patreon, Hopefully. Just, you know, we recorded a, a bit more PM versus anime recently. So we have a, a decent backlog of that to get through. So hopefully we'll get more of that out soon. And uh, more Party Boat coming up soon. As soon as Medi sends me the files. Finally. We have some goals up there too. Uh, the $750 goal, if I remember correctly, is One Piece. And we really want to hit that One Piece goal. So if we get 750 a month, oh boy, you get to watch PM. Oh, listen to One Piece, or watching One Piece, rather, not listening. What am I talking about? Of course, that would be on uh, Patreon only. So it's a, a sweet little treat for all you little supporters that we all love and care about. Then for everyone who wants to watch it but can't afford the Patreon, I, I'm, I'm sorry, we legally, we legally, legally can't actually show a lot of that stuff on, like, not, or on, rather... Yeah, not private places. I was going to say not public, but that's not correct at all. I'm a fool. I'm a dang idiot. But now is the point in the podcast where I thank our $10 and above patrons, starting, of course, with Alatos Diogenes, Andres Rojas, Bye. Breakdown 707, Diablo, Dorgan 23, Dr. Perpaka, the Purple Paka, Fire Trooper 113, Frost Samurai, Generic Jackal steals Jordan's job again, but in a boat sunscreen is not a boat. Anything's a boat if you try hard enough. Lena Inverse, Mr. I Like Spam, Mr. King Jacob 9002, Nap, Normalize, Pagu Champed, and Sinister. PM's Tooth is coming home! Ryan Superfan, Shibuya Gato, The Crossing Fate, Tony H, Vinegar Ultimax, and Zombie Slayer 051. And of course, our $20 patrons, Bill and Mr. Collector. Thank you all so much for the support. It means a lot to us and helps us out in a lot of ways that you probably couldn't even imagine. Because man, Bill's fucking suck, dog. We appreciate any bit of help we can get. And if you can't, you know, afford to spend money on us, understandable, I fucking get it. Uh, just share the podcast around with anyone you think would like it, because that helps a lot. Like, literally, just people watching it helps and is great. Share it around, please. Speaking of people I would like to thank, I would also like to thank Vidazen on Twitter at underscore V-I-D-A-Z-E-N underscore for our intro song Starbird. And our additional music, such as Appetite Delight, Ride of the Wave, and Seaside. Appetite Delight is what we use to cut into the ads. Ride of the Wave is used for Party Boat. And Seaside is used for Dip Chips. I got it right this time. I remembered. I also remembered to thank Shibuya Gato and Shura Art for our art assets, like the thumbnail, the logo, and a lot of other different things. Thank you, guys. I love you so much. You're all great. Don't forget that we're also available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and of course our video version on YouTube. If you watch it somewhere that is not YouTube, I'll cry. It, it is not cool, dog. Someone stole our stuff and put it somewhere. 
Hey, listen, if you're not watching on the The Calamity Carl channel and you're watching it on a different channel that's not mine, then they're stealing our videos and I will take legal action. I can actually do that. Um, Again, I said earlier, we do have... Shut up, airplane. What the fuck? We do have more party boat on the way still. Medi has edited at least a couple of them and I think rendered some of them out. We have PM versus anime. That's coming out on the Patreon very soon. I hope. I hope that Jordan still has the files for the first session we did of Mozinger and, uh, the fucking, what is it? FMA. I had to remember for a second. My brain just fucking lapsed. So hopefully we'll have those out sometime soon for you all to enjoy. And if not, I'm sorry, dog. These, th those two things are out of my control. I only got the podcast. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get some better workers. You know what I mean? <laughs> Joking aside, thank you all for listening. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of this episode. Hello. If you're listening to this podcast, then you're either a big fan of boats or a big fan of listening to friends goof off for a few hours. Well then, I have excellent news for you. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Show has plenty of boats. And the Millennium Microphone is a podcast where four friends re-watch the show with boats and also goof off for a few hours every other week. It features that Carl guy that you've been listening to here, along with Shora, Bioroxis, and me, Shibuya Gato. Check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Podbean. We also have a Patreon to see how many seasons people will force us to watch, so go check that out too at patreon.com slash millennium mic. If, if you don't know how to spell millennium, that's uh, two L's, two N's, and then an M-I-C at the end. Or you could just Google us. I, I guess that works too. See you there. That's the real end now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Jerking thank you. off. Down. What? 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 Let's talk about RTX. We're not done talking about these summer kids. Actually, no. I think I am. <laughs> I've just been messing with them a lot. I'm just like, hey, dude, you missed a spot over here, and they're like, what? And I just like wipe my finger on it, make a smudge, and I go right there, and they go, you fucking suck. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, I'm your boss, so get fucked. You gotta love holding power over, oh, over the so young funny. kids. funny. I'm just like, I don't want to do this. You, go do this. And they're like, why? And I go, because I don't want to do it. You do it. Cause, Maybe because here's the thing: if if it's an old person <laughs> that you're in charge of, it's not it's not it's not fun. It's so yeah, it's so fun teasing an old guy. Yeah. But it, but if they're like a teenager or in their twenties, oh, fuck good them Lord. kids! Fuck them kids! Fuck you only them. endless you, amounts the, of fun. Just the only fucking reason, making fun of them. The only reason you guys don't find it funny to fuck with old people is because you're so close to them in age. Shut up, child! You literal zoomer. Go pick daisies in a field. <laughs> what? He's, 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 he's a zoomer. He doesn't touch grass. <laughs> daisies in a field. I just started. I was just like trying to like no sell it by like slurping into my mic, <laughs> but Ooh. I don't think it came up. No, it didn't. <laughs> So before I left for RTX, um, there was apparently a bomb threat in a school near mine, which is uh -oh. awesome. So they're like, make sure you check everything just in case, you know? And it's like, that's great. That's a new thing to worry Find about. Find the bomb. Hey, kids, let's play a fun new game called Find the Bomb. Disarm the bomb. Cut the blue wire. This is not keep talking and nobody explodes. It's great. It's great and cool and fun. And um, uh, it's a great place to live right now. But also, my boss... Uh, told me one night where he was showing us where to clean and uh he looked at me when we were in the art rooms and he went carl you're the best at sinks congratulations you're the best at sinks and i went i'm sorry he was like you do sinks better than anyone else in this building you're in charge of doing the sinks in the art room and i was like you bit you've been promoted to best sink i was like yeah you're the best at sinks. <laughs> yeah i'm the sink man so i just thought that was fun because i like doing the sinks then I went to RTX, and that's why I wasn't yeah, here last yeah, yeah. week. Motherfucker, Carl. Yeah? I, I swear to God. Mm -hmm. 
you tweeted something. Yeah. While while you were either at RTX or on your way back mm-hmm. about networking. Yeah. Or 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 I'm sorry, your failed attempt at networking. First off, you go to the convention of the opposition, our literal competition. You go and yeah, fund yeah. them. No, no, no. I'm the man right? on the Fucked inside. Up. I'm I'm going to get intel. You've had a man on the inside. And they've been feeding, they've been double inside where they've no. been feeding our information over to them. No. They have their own bloating podcast now. It's clearly. Sure shit. Clearly. And, and they took our egg bit. Your egg bit. We've been betrayed. We've been up. betrayed. The ultimate triple cross. And now here you are going, putting money in their pockets, funding their operations. So they can fund more stealing of our bits? How dare you? They can take Jordan. I mean, yeah, okay. I mean, I'd rather them take me, please. I mean, same. Money, please. You guys like boating podcasts, please hire us. I mean, if you want to buy the rights to the podcast, go ahead. We we apparently were bought for $25. <laughs> We'd appreciate three figures. Like yeah. three figures, we'll 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 do it. We'll do twenty. For three I looked up twenty six at this point. Twenty five dollars, and we were a part of a two pack. Yeah, <laughs> so it was even really like half of that. So functionally, we were bought for twelve dollars and fifty cents. Yeah, it was fucked up. I'm just saying, like hundred bucks, you you can have you can have the rights for dipships. So, did you guys know that JetBlue has different names for their planes? Yes. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't know this. This one's name is Jeff. So I went on my first flight, and they're like, you are now flying on Bada Bing Bada Blue. I hate that. I love that. But I, I love also kind of love that. They also have the such best. great whoa, names. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Carl, you're th- you're throwing this whole podcast off, all right? Mm-hmm. We're, we're at a legitimate boating podcast, mm-hmm. not a legitimate airplane podcast. Mm-hmm. We're only allowed to talk about one mode of transportation on this Okay, podcast. but I used this Cars. one to go there because it's landlocked. Trains. Mm. It's true. Texas is landlocked. Fuck. Uh, pretty sure they got beaches. No, shut up. Oh. No, what you could have done is you could have driven over there. Nope. Well, no, hear me out, hear me out. You fucking put a boat on a U-Haul, and you just ride in the back of the U-Haul in the boat. Shit, they write. I mean, that's a pretty good idea, actually. That one rules. Uh, they have other great names, such as Aruba, Jamaica, Blue, I Wanna Take Ya. E Pluribus Bluenum. This is so cringe. Can you blue leave it? Blue had I'd me rather, at I'd hello. Not. They have a whole series with mint in the name. Oh, and they mix blue in there too sometimes. That's fucking awful. But the two that I wrote on to and from were Bada Bing Bada Blue and If the Blue Fits. What? That what, sucks. Wh- why is one of them an OJ reference? Why do, Why are you referencing a murder no, investigation? No, it's, it's If the Shoe Fits. That's the pun, oh, PM. It's, oh, not, about, it's yes, not about it's the not a, glove. It's not a fun fucking glover it's right not the, it's not the glove right i i am sorry God. i forgot about the shoe so my first flight was uneventful uh i was expecting no one to be in my row but the entire plane was packed so people ended up in my row and i was very upset uh no. i watched uh the umbrella academy season three the entire time it was good i enjoy it I thought I lost my earbud when I went to take it out when the plane was landing and I found it just sort of sitting on my shoulder and I was like, thank fucking God, I can't afford to lose this $50 earbud. Thank God for those wild shoulders. Yeah. They got them built like a fucking quarterback. So then I got to go to my hotel. How was that? Hot. It's hot in Texas. Did you know that? I would yeah. imagine so. Did you know that it's fucking disgusting out there? I'd imagine. Should have went when it was freezing. So. No. I get enough of that up here. So did you know that... Uh, Oh, you probably didn't know. Uh, RTX wouldn't let people in if they didn't have proof of vaccination. Oh. Or a positive, no, uh, positive COVID test. Well, at least they're smart about it. 
I was very happy about that, but also you mean a negative COVID test. Negative. I'm sorry. Yes, a negative COVID test. I said positive. I did not mean that. So how'd you sneak in? Only people that have COVID can enter this convention. No, we no, gotta that's gather them all together. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the fucking CO2 yeah, levels that were at fucking, the convention? God, it sucks. Disgusting. So uh, they were like, all right, what you got to do is you got to fill out this app called Clear so that we know that you're good. And I was like, all right, sure, that's fine. I put in my information on my card and it said it needed additional information for a booster. And I went, well, I haven't gotten a booster yet because I keep uh -oh. forgetting to make an appointment for it. So what do I do? And the guy in the front was like, well, you go over to the Hilton Hotel to level six and then you talk to the people up there and see what they say. And I said, all right, sure. So I went up there, which was a big walk because I, I walked around the whole fucking convention center to find an entrance because they were only using like half of the convention center this year. Mm -hmm. So they only had two ways in, which were both on the opposite ends of where my hotel were. Uh oh. So I had to go to the Hilton, which wasn't that far from where I was, and went up there and talked to the guy there. And I was like, yeah, so like, I have my card here and everything. He's like, right, when was the last time you got your last shot? And I was like, it was 2021. He was like, April 2021? That's a little too long ago. Uh -oh. If you don't have a booster, you're going to need a negative COVID test. You got to go to the CVS that's two miles away. <laughs> so I walked to the CVS. Oh, you walked? In 90 degree heat. Oh. Oh, Ugh. but Carl, think about it this way. Texas think about in the all, summer. Think about all those calories you bo burned, Oh, son. I boiled some fucking calories. Oh, they are beyond gone. That comes out as fucking mystery goo out of your ass. Yeah, yes, yeah. it does. So I walked uh, to the CVS. I walked in, went upstairs, because it's a two-floor CVS. Went up to the person at the pharmacy, said, I need to take a COVID test. And they said, we don't do tests here. <laughs> of course <Okay. laughs> only you <laughs> only you only you you need to get one of the home tests from downstairs I went okay that's fine I'll I'll accept that they'll accept that that's fine there's no issues turns and, out they don't accept that no they did <laughs> oh okay uh, but I went down and I was like I'm not fucking walking back I got a lift I opened the lift and I got a ride back and the guy in the lift looked at me and I told him all that he was like that, I mean, I'm glad that they're being smart about it, but that's fucking stupid. You got your fucking mm -hmm. vaccines. I was like, yeah, I know. But I'd rather them do this than not. Looking at you, Anime Expo. So I took the test. I took the picture of it. I even brought the test with me in my pocket just in case they were like, we need something more than a picture. I went up there. I showed them everything. Went, yeah, you're good. Put the wristband on me. And I was like, all right, cool. So what do I, uh, I'm looking on the, they have an app for the convention. Mm -hmm. And I was looking like, what's the first thing I can go to? Oh, there's a panel for Achievement Hunter right fucking here. Like right next to where I was. All right. So I just walked right in, sat online, went in for the panel. I'm so glad that nature has healed. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I got to witness once again, cringe at a Q&A at a panel at a convention. Oh, God, oh, no. no. Did they have a Q&A? No. They always have Q&As. Oh, no. Carl, I'm <laughs> begging you. Carl, I'm begging you. Do not repeat what they asked. Do not repeat what they asked. Well, I'll, 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 say, I'll say some context clues so you can put the words together yourself in your mind. Uh, so there was... Uh, Three content. Uh, well, there was a bunch of people on the. Who was it exactly on the panel? It was Michael Jones. There was a new guy, Joe. Uh, some other new people, BK, Kai, and Iffy, who are no, not Kai, Fiona, who are all black. That is very important for the story. I'm no sure you boy. can guess where that can lead to. <laughs> okay. It's very important to understand that part. Jack Patilla yes. was also there, and Matt Bragg. All right, I know three of those people. So. They got the Q and A going. Uh, you know, people are. So first off, they went to like one of their producers came up and handed them merch to hand out to the people asking questions, but didn't tell them that part. So they just started throwing it out into the audience. And uh -oh. when the box was like half full, she went, "You guys weren't supposed to throw all that out. You're supposed to hand it to the question askers." And they looked at her like, "Why didn't you say something earlier?" 
She's like, well, you just started throwing. I didn't know what to do. Yeah, All man, right. They went. They went through half the box. You could have stopped them when they were like, uh, 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 just doesn't matter. Fractions. So they, you know, they got about four questions in. This guy walks up, red hair, and he goes, "I don't really have a question, but I can do impressions." Oh God! Ah! Would you like to hear an impression? <laughs> no. Frame no. Frame one. Jack Batillo grabs his microphone and goes, "No." Thank you, Jack. He Thank knows. Thank you, Jack. This guy, of course, doesn't walk doesn't away from anyway. the mic. He's oh, just okay. like, so what voice do you guys want to hear? None. I'm like, all right, so w what can you do? He went, well, I can do Vegeta from Dragon Ball. I can do Frieza from Dragon Ball. So they go, all right, do a, do a, do Frieza trying to buy a used car. Oh no! Don't don't make him improv too. Oh god! He's oh, don't like... worry. He didn't improv, but he did include a specific line oh, that god. Frieza says, specifically referring to Saiyans. Yes, yes. Okay. Ah! If you cannot get it from that, I bet that you can. Once you remember that I did indeed say that three of the panelists were black. Yes. Who then heard him say this line, and for like. Heads back, mouths open, fucking howling before one of them, if he grabs the mic, he goes, no, no, guys, you need to understand that that's a thing that Frieza says in the show, that you need to understand that, that that is a thing the character says. How did the audience react once the, once the oh, M-bomb was, was dropped? Oh, it, was, it wasn't that. Oh, okay. It was, you know, it was, uh, you know what, the you know what Frieza, Frieza, that's close enough, yeah. The audience was dead silent. The guy next to me and me were both had our head in our hands, just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And I was like, a brother in pain. I think I think people should be bullied more. Yes, I agree. I don't agree. You see, Jordan I think Jordan, this is why we bully you. To to make you not <laughs> keep, cringe. To keep things from that bad from happening. Carl, you don't understand. I was falling out of my chair trying to escape that story yeah it's it's bad I, how do you think i felt in this fucking panel i wanted to get up and fucking grab this dude and walk him out i i would have got up to leave and laugh <laughs> because of how fucking cringe that is because that was oh boy that fucking sucked Fortunately, oh. that was one of the only bad things at the convention okay that's good i, I think i might have cried if i was in person it sucked. That was also the only like bad and cringe sort of a uh, thing that happened at a panel. Like which, I can't handle. God, I can't at, at least handle the ones like, you attended. Yeah, I can't handle secondhand cringe. It's too bad. Oh, it sucks, dude. I I used to be so good at uh, being able to handle it, and now like uh, my, my cringe muscle has gotten weak over the years. I can't like I I can't handle cringe compilations on YouTube anymore. When I I used to be able to revel in that shit. And now I can't. I've gotten so weak. So, I did after that go to the ship hits the fan panel. How fucking mm -hmm. dare you! Because I was like, well, I gotta go after them. I walked in and sat right next to the microphone. Mm -hmm. I looked specifically for that. I got in line an hour early just so I could see where they placed the microphone for questions and sit right next to it so I could be the okay. first one up there. Yes. That panel was fucking insane. One of them, they're sitting up there talking about uh, different boat facts, or not boat facts, different uh, boat sinkings, because that's their thing, is talking about shipwrecks. Shipwrecks and uh, whoopsies and uh ohs on the high seas. Boat sinkings. <laughs> boat sinkings, yeah. Boat sinkings. Boat sinkings. <laughs> I forgot the word, all right? Listen, yeah, my brain don't call it, so that's good. That's like calling a car accident a car crush. It is. You you motherfucker, you gaslit me uh, on the on the latest podcast that came out saying that I said smilked when I did, f in fact, in said did. In smoked in did. when I in did in said. When I in did Look, said. One, one fuck up doesn't lead to another, all right? I said smoked, you fucking yeah, death right. bitch, yeah, not okay. smilked. All right, bud, go back to your fucking milk, grandpa. I will. I enjoy milk. So there, we had uh, 
two of the hosts up there, Charlotte and I forgot the other guy's name. Talking about actual boat facts. Bo bo fuck me. I keep saying boat <laughs> facts. Shipwrecks. Talking about shipwrecks. Thank you. And the last one talks about how his his daughter sunk the, her toy boat by placing too many plastic dinosaurs on it. And then threw it at him and he stepped on it and broke it. Oh. It was very sad. But then out of the back, out of nowhere, like the back doors that lead to like the back area where all the the people who are part of the con go to like get around so they're not on the show floor. Mm -hmm. Out walks one of uh, their friends from Funhouse, I guess, Ryan or whatever. He joins in the audience. They're just like, oh, hey, Ryan, how the fuck did you get here? Then the doors swing open again and Eric Bedore steps out. Oh, God. Yo. And he looks confused at everyone and he goes, I thought this was the elevators. <laughs> what is this? Like, I don't know what this is. And like, is there anyone else hiding back there? And Eric just like holds his hands up like he's presenting something. And he goes, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Damaris. Who? He's one of the guys from a Rooster Teeth. Oh, okay. He steps out and he just sits in the front row and he goes, I don't know what this panel is. I don't know what you guys are doing. I'm Eric's like, do like, they just not know anything about their fucking company? Yeah, Eric doesn't know anything about boats. All he knows is fucking apples. And and burgers. Yeah. yeah, actually, just about. And I did st indeed step up to the microphone when they asked for questions, uh, eyeing them the whole time. Mm -hmm. Stood straight up, stepped up to the mic, and just went... You know one of the hosts, right? Hmm? You know one of the hosts of Ship Hits the Fan, no. right? Oh. If I knew them, I would have fucking chewed them out for ripping us off. Oh, okay. What are you, silly? So what did you do when you got up to the mic? I leaned in real close and I went, as a fellow host of a boating podcast, what are your favorite boat facts? You didn't even name drop? I felt a little cringe to name drop. It would be a little cringe to name drop in front of a panel, honestly. I would bit. have taken I would have taken a little bit of cringe for the exposure, because at least I, how, how many people would you say were in that room? Oh, it was a lot more than I anticipated. OK, let's ballpark 200. Yeah. If one of those 200, which no, I'm sh sure none of those people would have e have ever listened to Dipships, we would have gotten at least one new listener. They would have been a really big fan of the Racist Symbiote episode. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Is that still our highest viewed episode? Probably. Probably. I'm checking. So let's see. Did, how'd they respond to the question, at least? Uh, one of them actually listed a fact. Uh, Charlotte, the only female on the podcast, was like, uh, one time I was given free wine on a boat and it was cool. And I was like, yeah, respectable. And uh, the last one just said something along the lines of, uh, it, was, it was an actual boat fact also, but it was a very sad boat fact where people died. And I was like, oh, that was not very fun. That was just sad. Our most popular episode, our top three most popular episodes is episode one. Of course. The Jonas Brothers comp uh, Conspiracy. Episode 32, Let's Get Grillin' Brother. Hell yeah. And uh, episode 4, The Racist Symbiote. Perfect picks. Runner-up is A Pizza Worth of Nipples, episode 7. A. Hey. Let's see. Uh, then I went to the post-team panel, because that's where my friend Caden was on the panel. And they were uh, terrified when the panel ended, and I went up to say hi, and then a crowd of people swarmed them and they managed to slip away like a tiny little weasel and they're just like listen i'm fucking scared people have been coming up to me all the fucking time on the floor just like caden hi and i'm like i i'm not used to this i'm scared help i was like you're small you're gonna get swept away you gotta be careful uh, they need to walk around with like an anchor yeah that night how shit faced? <laughs> I didn't get shit faced the entire time. Oh, okay. It was very upsetting. Wow. I was nice. I didn't want to without anyone I I knew there as a stopping point. Oh, you had no no, no mutual? No. Not a singular? The, I I I nearly impulse if I had my passport ready, I I was like I legitimately had like a 30 minute conversation with myself going, I'm going to RTX. I'm going to RTX. I'm going to RTX. I'm, I'm going to try and go next year. We'll do it next year. We'll do a, a meet There's, up there. Oh, I don't have my passport, dude. 
get it renewed by next year. Get it renewed by next year. Dude, my government has has literally been going, don't renew your passport right now. We are backlogged. Do it anyway. <laughs> It'll go through by then. There's no way they're backlogged for an entire year. Yeah. I'll, I'll try. So that night, in my hotel room, I went, I want to try a burger. I'm going to get a burger from somewhere. I'm hungry. I did not want to order food from the hotel because I spent $50 on fucking pancakes in the morning. I didn't know it would cost that goddamned much until it came to my room and I looked at the bill and went, $50? I, 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 I nearly went $50 for you. Oof. I, okay. I could not go $50 twice in the same episode. Yeah. <laughs> so, I found a place that was near the hotel that was like beer bar no it was like bar something in games the three it was two b's and a g the bbg a yeah and i was like all right i'll order food from there because this food sounds good they have mac and cheese wontons that sounds fucking incredible sounds they got gross. some loaded ass fries that's bomb as shit all right they got this burger with little onion strings on it hell yeah yeah debatable placed my order fuck you placed my order Guy goes there, gets it, brings it. I grab it. I'm like, there's only like two things in here. Went up to my hotel room. I got two of three things. They didn't give me the fucking burger. Oh, you mean the main course? Yeah. They just they just forgot the main just course. Just did not put it in. Wait, did you not notice it at the barcade? I didn't go there. I had it delivered. Oh, you had it delivered. Oh, okay. So I was like, all right, no problem. I'll just like get a refund for that because I didn't fucking get it. Mm -hmm. They gave me credits for it. I placed the order again. This is the exact amount I needed. I waited about two hours. Jesus. I kept having dashers go there, getting outside, and then canceling the order. Why would you retry after the second attempt? I would have found a new place. No, no, no. I, I, it was them. It was them going. All right. Well, that dasher canceled. So now we're gonna find another oh, dasher so for it you. Automatically. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. So I went. All right. All right. By the time the third one happened, that happened, and I went. All right. I'm just not gonna order from there again. I'd called them when the second one happened, and I said, Hey, I didn't get Where my burger with my first fucking order, and I've had two dashers cancel outside. What's good? Mm -hmm. What the fuck's going on? Where's They're like, the oh, sorry, sir. Don't worry. It'll be taken care of. Third dasher canceled. I went, canceled the order. Gave me money back. Ordered a burger from P. Terry's. Ah, oh, Pateri. Pateri's. It got to me quick. Okay. I went down to meet my dasher, and he called me, and he said, oh, I left it outside of your room. I went up to your room to give it to you. And I went, all right, well, I'm down in the lobby, so I'm going to go grab it. It was not a good burger. It took me three hours to get a burger to eat with my fucking fries. Fries were cold, huh? Uh, it was a little cold. It was still good because it was loaded fries. Mm. The burger was mid. And I was very sad. I remember hopping into a call with KZ and giving him updates because he was streaming at the time, and I kept popping in going, "They keep canceling my burger." Also, rest in pepperonis. Let me see. I do have uh, pictures of the things that they had to offer. Let me show you. Picture of your this. I'm just putting in the general. Um, nice. This is what the menu on the room was. If you wanted to see how seven dollar Pringles. It's not even a big can. It's one of the small cans. Uh, 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 yeah, that's a mini bar for you. Yeah. Delete this image. I'm gonna have a conniption. I'm seven, going. I'm going to freak out. Seven dollars for a big bottle of water. I was like, why? Dog, why? I can go to a store and get one that size for three, if not less. Because you antiques ass. Yeah, well, because I was in a fancy ass hotel in a suite that I didn't realize was that. Nine dollars for peanut M and M's. Yeah. <laughs> nine, <laughs> not, nine, nine. <laughs> don't do it. Don't. No. No. Don't do it. It sucked. <laughs> it sucked, dog. Nine dollars. Oh wow. boy! I mean, it was a nice room. Yeah, I bet. Shame about the prices. Yeah, not nice prices. So the next day, I went to the Face Jam panel. Mm -hmm. 
they threw sauce packets into the crowd. Did you awesome. grab one? No, they threw it only to like the front row, and I was like middle. I was very upset about that. They reviewed the convention center's hot dogs. All right. And uh, some, what was it? It was the fucking hot dogs and a peanut butter sandwich that had like granola in it. Yeah, you need uh, that crunch. You need that crunch. And they're like, well, I just thought it was crunchy peanut butter. And then instead it's like this. And that sucks. And I was like, all right, so this is going to be an average, uh, an average thing until Michael pulls out a hairspray can mm -hmm. of colored hairspray. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he proceeds to color Eric's hair on stage with it. What? And then does it to himself. Oh, no. Oh, no. And he goes, wait, I gotta get the eyebrows. Fucking Anthony Davis looking ass. I was like, it looks like a razor head. It was fucking funny. There was unfortunately no, uh, no panel for the fuck face. Damn. They had a meetup and I missed it and I didn't know because I didn't know it was happening at all. They tweeted about it like a couple minutes beforehand. No. I was like, that's upsetting. I did get to meet Eric as I was walking around the floor and I saw him standing at a booth with a piece of paper taped to the top that just said Eric meetup. <laughs> right on. <laughs> you can just see it dangling up there. <laughs> Eric Bedore meet and greet <laughs> and the tiniest piece of paper. Yeah, that's what he deserves. And he was like, See fuck that? yeah, make that an Instagram story. Oh, no, fuck it, I'll make it an Instagram story. And then my friend Johnny responded to it. Damn, that dude just looks like, he looks just like Eric Bedore. Bedore. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, these impersonators are getting great. And do a great job. I got to meet a lot of them. That was cool. I got to hang out with Caden for a bit. They were like, you don't believe how much of a shit show it is behind the scenes. And I was like, oh, I can imagine. Believe you me. Every Frank, every one of them I talked sounds... to, I was just like, so how you doing? And they're like, oh, I'm so tired. I was like, I bet. I just saw you at a panel 30 minutes ago, and now you're here on the floor. I bet you're fucking exhausted. Revel in what we have now, boys. One day, that'll be us. God, I fucking hope so. Yeah, I had a, I had a blast. It was a good time. They had a chair. Uh, oh, okay. A chair? I'm trying to think. They, just, right. they had a chair. Okay. Did you sit in okay. it? Okay. I mean, there uh, it goes. Oh, Is I see. Chair? Sure. Oh, it's okay. got wheels on it. Holy shit, it has wheels on it. I didn't notice has, that, actually. Wow, it has wheels. Wow, on it has wheels. Uh, they did like a One Night Ultimate Werewolf uh, panel where they had a bunch of uh, the talents doing that. And Caden was like, I'm going to be a part of that. I went, all right, I'll go see it. And they stood up. And uh, one of the Achievement Hunter guys, Alfredo, was just like, yeah, so guys, uh, Caden's going to make Pilk for us. Oh, God. Oh. They're, they're handing out Pilk for free over there. So they all just drank Pilk on stage. And at least three of them were like, Gross. hold up, actually. Oh, I, God, fuck I, off. I texted Caden. I was like, there's no way you just converted people live on stage to fucking Pilk. I hate you so much. What is this bit? Kid's like, it's not a bit. I drank pilk. I like it. This sucks, dog. Should we just do pilk for free? <laughs> Maybe. Because everybody's doing it. We might as well give the pa uh, patrons a freebie. It seems like everyone's doing it. Hmm. But yeah, I met a lot of people what? there. It was uh, a lot of the, the, the fellas. It was a good time. I enjoyed it a lot. What do we... What if mm -hmm. we changed... What if we raised the pilk goal... But change the what it, what it's for, and we change it to cigarette milk. I think I'd rather kill you. Why would you ever wow. suggest that? Wait, look, Cat isn't a member of this podcast, and only she would do it. <laughs> yes, that's, that's why she. That's why she's going to show up and be a special guest. On she it when we reach she that goal. has been DMing me every day since that podcast came out, going. <laughs> Please drink the cigarette milk for me, and I'm like, no, no, why, don't would, do I, that. why would I do that? So let me uh, let me show you some of the stuff that I got there. Oh, hi, hello, Carl. So let me turn my light on so it's a little better to see. Something fell. I got a gift for you, Jordan. Oh yeah, yeah, you'll actually like it. 
Yo! Persona 5 pin. Right on. That's awesome. I was like, yeah. And I got a Persona 3 pin. Based. And I'm legally contractually obligated to buy this Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion pin. Yes, of course. As I'm friends with the creator. I got a keychain. All right. T100 keychain. Uh, an annual pass, which is their uh, podcast for... Uh, anal Passage. Yes, Anal Passage. Their podcast for theme parks and shit. And I got Jack to sign it. Because I was just walking down the hallway and he was just sort of there. And I was like, oh, hey, Jack, what's up? You want to sign this? And he was like, hell yeah. Uh, I got baby hands. I don't know what okay. that is. It's a joke from uh, the, their podcast, Red Web. Oh, okay. Where they went to a haunted uh, hotel. Not hotel. Haunted hospital. And they saw a pair of little baby shoes and little baby handprints on like a wheelchair. And they're like, they got a little fucking ghost here with baby hands. <laughs> not, not not a ghost of a baby. No, it's like a ghost with baby hands. A, a ghost with baby hands. Don't worry, PM. He's cheeked the fuck up. <laughs> Holy shit. Motherfucker God is damn. caked up. <laughs> caked the fuck up. God Damn! Well, you going to a birthday party? You must be walking around with all that party. cake. Uh, the the people who were at that the section of the floor who had the who were doing the RTX store, like the people who bought it, who uh were doing the cashier shit, were very nice. And they're like, "Oh yeah, you also get a free little reusable bag. It comes in all this right little on. little bag." I was like, "Oh hell yeah!" But the most important thing that I got. Oh god, yeah! no, 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 Not the silly oh, stick no. or whatever the fuck that stupid thing's the called. Stick. The fuck yeah, stick. The, yeah, it's a fuck it stick. It does indeed say weow on the back. Weow. I got Eric to sign it. Right on. Didn't see Jeff once. I was very upset about that, but I kind of figured that's what would happen. It was fucking, I assume Patton doesn't leave his fucking island for anything Oh, of course all. not. Of course oh, not. Of course not. I also got this shirt. I really hate that shirt. Oh, that's an awful shirt. That's a great shirt. It's the it's the face jam sauce monkey showing his mouth off. Oh, I God. hate it. That's how it, he eats. I, I don't know how you made Alien more terrifying, but you found a way. Hide that taco meat. No, nobody wants to see it. It's fucked up. You have fun, Carl. I had a good time. That's That's all that matters. It was enjoyable. Next year, you'll probably have friends with you. I hope so. Probably, because I, I might not be there. You I will, I'll, you're I'll going. try. You're going. The motherfuckers come here. We have cons. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we my do. flight back... Can't go to Comic-Con, though. I'm still banned. My, fight, my flight back was on If the Blue Fits. Uh, That's a I, shoe. Not a glove. Yeah. Okay. I uh, was getting ready. I grabbed my, my bags. Cause they, I had the... I asked the hotel. I was like, yo, you guys have a bag check, yeah. right? Because they're like, checkout's at 11. I was like, I need a place to keep my fucking clothes bag. So they're like, yeah, you do. We do. So you can just leave it here. So I left my bag with them. Enjoyed what free time I had left before I decided to head to the airport around like 2.30 to get there for 3. So I got to get there a little early so I can eat something at the airport. Take my time doing that. Find my gate. And then get on the plane for like 6. The second I ordered the lift to pick me up. I got a message saying, hey, uh, your flight's been pushed back by like an hour. Oop. I was like, well, guess I'm going to be there an extra hour. Hope it takes me long to get through security. It didn't. I was through really quick. I ate my food. I sat and waited for my flight. I got on the plane. The whole row was empty. Nice. Fucking ecstatic about it. Thank God. This is awesome. They went by to ask what you wanted. And I was like, I wanted to just like, can I get a can of Pepsi? Can I get a Truly? And they're like, yeah, no problem. I'll be back to charge you. Okay. Never came back to charge me for it. Yo, free Truly? And I asked one of the guys if I could get a little cheese platter thing. And he was like, yeah, no problem. We'll get it for you. Half an hour goes by. I don't have it. Oh. So oh, eventually, he comes so back to yeah, eventually he comes back over with it. And he's like, I'm sorry, sir. I completely forgot. And I went to hand him my card to pay for it. And he went, no, don't worry about it. 
Nice. Free cheese. Free cheese? You're getting treated like a king. Free alcohol? Hell yeah. I'm Hell living yeah. on cloud nine, baby. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And the guy in front of me was watching Morbius? How much better can it get? <laughs> I got to watch Morbius for what free. Every... <laughs> Man, Everybody has to... Oh, I, why did I see so many people watching Morbius on fucking their flights over like the past week? Dude, it fucking rolled. I was on cloud fucking nine. Dude, free alcohol, free cheese, free morb. What more could you ask for? And by the time I landed, Medi was just getting out of work and was there. It was like perfect timing on everything. Yep. It was great. Wow, this is surprisingly like uncharacteristic. Nothing bad happened. Of of your day to day experiences. Oh, I was terrified that I was gonna get off the plane and they'd go, "Sir, you owe us a lot of money for what you got." And I would have just booked it. Yeah, they just triple charge you for, for have, everything. Would have fucking ran as fast as my fat little legs could carry me. Oh, I did also meet up with my friend Warren down there, and we went to a, a diner and uh, we had a great time. Right on. I'm talking about uh, stuff catching up, eating food. Living life. Sounds pretty fun. It was great. It was a good time. I think that's just about everything. Cool. Does any convention want to get us on as, as special guests? Please? Um, Anyone out there that's listening? How we get, that's how we get PM to RTX. Hell yeah. God, I really am patting that, aren't I? Like, I refuse to leave yeah. Canada yeah. to go to go anywhere. Yeah! You're such a, you're such a patent, Peyton. Got bad oh, how bones. The, how, how the fucking turns have tabled. Fuck, such a fucking Raymond Somare. It's bullshit. All right, do you want to get into questions? Absolutely. If you have any questions, you can send them to dipshipspotty.yahoo.com or respond to the tweet put out almost every Sunday. I didn't put almost. one out this week. Because we have we a lot have, of questions. We have a lot of questions left over from, from last week. Yeah, what happened? Well, how did you not well, know about the bookmark feature, PM? I I don't I'm never on like main site Twitter. I'm only here on fucking TweetDeck. And yeah. TweetDeck to me yeah. seems like it doesn't have bookmarks. All right, bud. All right, whatever you say. I mean, that's what happened. Like TweetDeck doesn't have bookmarks and so, for some reason he didn't think to log into the account on main Twitter. Dumbass. Hey, I only have dipships on it. Yeah, go ahead. Hams has two questions. Uh, if you could delete a Yu-Gi-Oh deck, which one would you kill? You could do an archetype or just a deck itself. Cough, Mystic Mind, cough. Yeah, but Mystic Mind is like splashable and like a lot of shit. A specific yeah. deck. Uh, I hate. What's that fucking deck that Nep uses? Uh, the one with the all the carnival, traps. The, like the like the. The guy that's like YouTuber gay. Yeah, like a uh, amaze Eldritch? amazement. No, oh, not amazement. Eldritch. Amazement. Yeah, yeah amazement. Get, get rid of that deck. It's somehow Eldritch I, is YouTuber gay. I, I hate I, that. I don't know how they release alt art, and he's pretty YouTube gay. Oh, he's um, super gay in that one. It rules. Oh no, yeah. Uh, I don't know how you made a control deck more painstakingly boring to play against, other than Eldritch, but you did it. Or at least in the hands of Nep, it's like, wh why even like uninstall? Just uninstall. I can't say Sword Soul. I use Sword Soul. I would cry. Or so we're saying a deck that we hate. Yeah. Which one would you destroy? Fuck Dragon Maid. Fuck Dragon Maid. You want to leave Dragon Maid? They're, they're fucking making a structure deck in Master Duel. You can buy for it. That's disgusting. Fuck Dragon Maid. Yeah. Get get fucked if you How fucking about... uh, crafted that deck. How about we just get all the lollies out? I agree. Dude, you're deleting like a fucking quarter of Yu-Gi-Oh if you do that. Yeah, good. I don't know about a quarter. Actually, no, it's probably about cards. right. Wait, like a sixth. Look, there's only like a hundred thousand oh, cards. No, no, no. But then, Medi, that means you're going to get rid of the Charmers. Yeah, I was about to say, leave the Charmers. They're fine. No, you said get rid of all of them. You got to get rid of all of them. I mean, if if they have to take that hit, like, if the Charmers are the cost of uh, having no five-year-old sexualized, yeah. But what about the fortune fairies? Who fucking cares? I feel, hmm, what deck do I hate the most? 
I don't think I would say that I hate Tri Brigade or Bird Up enough to delete them. I kind of hate Numeron. Like it's it's fairly easy to stop, but when it pops off, it's like, all right, well, that's cool. All right. Yeah, just gotta just gotta smack you in the mouth with a shit ton of monsters that can't be destroyed by battle. But also Elvich right, is a little annoying. I hate fighting Time Lords so much. Time Lords also fucking suck. But you they're don't see them every, enough sometimes. They're in fucking every festival that Master Duel runs. All they gotta do is just fucking ban them. No Time Lords. But they're too stupid to think of that. I think I'm just gonna go with like fucking Eldritch or something. Safe I just hate answer. stall decks. Hems also asks... Uh, ever seen or eaten food that dealt damage to you just by looking at it? The Vopper. I was about to say, like, like how? Well, they sent an image that I'm going to put in the general. Oh. This is the end. <laughs> that is their personal I... answer from a local dessert place. I it mean, looks... looking, ah, looking at it? I see. Yeah, it looks like someone just shat on a waffle. But read, no, no, no. reading the ingredients, it looks fine. Yeah, the, the ingredients is, uh, the damage is your arteries. You have a heart attack just by looking at it. I see. Oh, yeah. Ferrero Rocher Oreos covered in Nutella sauce, showered with hazelnuts, accompanied with something. Six euros? I think that's Lyra. Whatever. Um, mm -hmm. my example, I, I took damage by... I don't know how they did it. Yaki's mac and cheese. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah. This this burnt monstrosity. Yeah, I mm. it looks like a lung infected with <laughs> cancer. <laughs> yeah. This this is this is the lung of somebody who smoked for 50 years. God. You don't always die from tobacco. Sometimes someone just cooks your lung. Cooks, mm. cooks. Oh, cooks! Jesus Christ! I thought you said cooks. No, yeah, they, sometimes someone cocks your lung. Yeah, dog. That's why I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" Cuck it out of air. Um, a food that hurts. I haven't seen it, but I would say anything that cats ever cooked. Hmm. <laughs> Half the things she that. talks about. She said that garlic bread sounds too hard to make. So I don't, I don't think <sighs> I can believe, like trust her in anything. Mm, garlic bread. But if you mean like something that I want to eat it and it hurts me how bad I want to eat it. Like it fucking just sweets, dog. I got a big sweet tooth. Anything that looks like it'll kill me with sugar. Oh yeah, then that case for me, it's cookies. Oh, fucking love cookies. Yellow Yandello asks what character or characters from an awful or not so great piece of media you've watched or played that you thought was actually good or maybe interesting what? do you wish was in anything else and where would you put them okay uh, so a character from a bad media put into good yeah what's a character yes. you liked from something bad that you'd rather seen something good Escanor from seven deadly sins yeah uh chad from bleach hey the fuck? I take offense. Sorry, um, Bleach is bad. Why'd you steal offense? You took offense? What'd you take? Him it? reacted to Look, the trailer could... on the podcast last week. Oh yeah, I did. You have have fun editing that, Carl. Oh, it's gonna be loud. I'm uh, uh, excited for that. Bad piece of media that you've watched or guess. played that you wish was anything else. Take. I don't remember his name, but take the dude with the fart powers from Mystery Men, put him in my hero. Damn. Damn, that's a pull. Either that or the bowling chick from Mystery Men and put her in my hero. Why are you saying Mystery Men's bad? Uh, it's the people's misconception, all right? They're, they're confused. They're young. They don't know any better. Exactly. They think it's bad. It's actually poggers. But when are we doing the Mystery Men watch together? I mean, we right we now. talked about it. And that can be a thing for PMVA. PMVF. PMVC. PM vs. Cinema. P yeah, there you go. What about you, Jordan? 
I don't let bad media live in my head rent free. Man, you're fucking pathetic. Mr. Collector asks, has a celebrity death ever affected any of y'all more than it should have? Betty White. Betty White. Takahashi. Iwata got me bad. Iwata. Mitch Hedberg. Steve Irwin. Yeah, Irwin. Robin Williams. Mm. Uh, For me... Chester Bennington. The... Who? Lead singer of Linkin Park. Oh. He died? Is this a bit? I don't know. I'm scared to no, ask. No, it's not. Maybe he died in 2017. He killed himself in 2017. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It was... I, I'm surprised you didn't see that. It was fucking everywhere. Uh, How the fuck did you avoid that? Fake fan. I don't know. Let's see, Google, why did he die? Uh, I just... Huh. What about you, PM? Huh. What, was, what were you going to say? Huh. I think there's only three that I can think of that really affected me in, in a bad way. Most recently is uh, Takahashi. Yeah. The, the, the author of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like... I, I cannot explain to you how much my life has been affected by a, a children's card game. Like, I have the friends that I have now because of Yu-Gi-Oh. Same. I'm on this podcast. This podcast exists. You hear all of my funny stories, the internet. Uh, you All of this is because of Yu-Gi-Oh. I met PM because of Yu-Gi-Oh. That's true. Hell, I, I started... Uh, my 10 year uh, friendship with KZ and Carl because of Yu Gi Oh! It all started with Yu Gi Oh! One day out of the blue, KZ just messages me, like, hey, you want to play Yu Gi Oh! with us? I'm like, yeah, sure, fuck, fuck it. And the rest is history. Um, and past that, I'd say Eddie Guerrero, and uh, this is going to be fucked up, but Chris Benoit. Chris yeah. Benoit at, at the time was, uh, after oh, Eddie I'm had sure passed, liked- uh, Chris was my favorite wrestler. Uh, Eight Sleep asks, Oh, say can you sleep by the dawn's early light? Oh, this is just a bed ad. Okay. okay. Someone signed us up for something called Eight Sleep where they're just trying to sell us beds. Okay. I'd like a bed. I would like a bed. Cool. Get them to sponsor us. Yo. Hey, listen. Welcome to we... Dip Ships Legitimate Eight Bedding Sleep, Podcast. If you want us to sponsor you, just shoot me a fucking email, bud. We will literally. They did. There it is. Uh, it's, we'll, not, it's not that. We will take any sponsorship at this point. Anything, dog. I'll do fucking That's audible That's right. Reads. So if you want to buy a loot crate. Loot crate's long since dead. I know. I wish. Scythe Sensei asks, seeing as Carl is going to or has been to RTX, has, if you were big enough to have your own convention for dipships, what would it be called? Uh, the boat show? The dip ships boat there's already show? Thing, there's already a thing called that. Oh, yeah. That's why you slap dip ships in the front of it. Because things can't be named the same thing as another thing. Yeah, just call That's it That's illegal. The dip ships boat show. Yeah. Or what if we call it da boat, D-A boat show. Yeah, there legally distinct. That's legally distinct. The dip ships legitimate boat show. There you go. That's, That's too long. Fuck you. Or maybe we do that for the first year, and then the next year it's just Boat Show 2. Boat Show 2. Boat Show 3, Electric Boogaloo. Now, you might say it should be 2. Fuck you. Alatos asks, future dip chips? And it is a picture linking to what appears to be powdered Toast Man cereal? Wouldn't that just be Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Yeah, probably. Probably. I mean, I'm always down to do weird cereals again, as long as they're actually weird cereals. Uh, as long as we can find it. He, I highly... That seems like an American-only thing. Uh, that seems like uh, someone made a bunch of these for a convention. Probably. Also, I'm looking at it. I believe that price tag says $14. Suck my dick, you're getting $14 out of me for a box of cereal. What? Stark Maximum asks, Dami Mommy or Subby Hubby? Get some bangers Why today. Both? Why not both? Why not both? Why not both? Lift me up like a small Mexican girl. Uh, da, 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 da. Old El Paso. C- considering I'm the 
I'm the only straight person on this podcast. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take, yes, I'll take straight. Damn token straight. Yeah, straight. All right. Fucking hats. All right, guys, come Bro, on. Can't say I'm that. the minority here. All right, you can't, you can't do that to me. I, I, I am question. literally the minority. I, I am fucking Mexican. You cannot do this to me. <laughs> What's up? It's fucked up. I, I have a question for the token straight. Mm-hmm. Why? Why do all the heads hate their spouses? Not all it's of weird. them. It's weird. No, I'd I'd say there's healthy het relationships. It's bo- it's boomers who married fast and then just decided to stick with it. Yeah. Yeah, when you marry quick just and get a divorce, five head. It's expensive. Costs it's, too much. It's a little it's a little more complicated than that. Just get a divorce, five head. Or you could just like not get married at all and and or or like get engaged to be married and end up being in financial debt for like longer than you've been alive. It sounds like you're speaking from experience. BM, something happened. Hey, don't take a loan out for a ring and property that you're never gonna move into. Kids, don't do that. Oh. <laughs> don't take two credit lines to 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 fucking ruin your life. Not that I would know. Haha. 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 Please, I'm crying. A digi asks, "Why is PM?" <laughs> I what mean, we just we literally just answered that thirty seconds ago. Yeah, there's your answer. I, I also think we uh, the, we asked this last podcast. I believe Casey asked me that. Oh well, I mean, just fucking let me know what was fucking said, PM. Well, you the, the, if you had it in the bookmarks and then you removed it and let me know. I don't know, dude. I've been job, asking man. why, why me since i was a teenager ever since i broke my back i've been asking myself that question just have good luck um i would sure love to find some yeah just just be born into a rich white family you idiot god i fucking wish just be born as the child of a saudi oil baron dumbass like i Every once in a while, I'll talk to, like, a Mexican cousin. And I'm like, can you, like, dig a couple of holes and, and find some, like, oil or some shit, please? <laughs> He's like, oh, okay, boss. That's racist. You can't, you can't, you can't uh, say it like that. Daito, yeah, that's fucked up. I apologize. Daito asks, if you could have someone else's voice from... If you could have someone else's voice from anything you know... This is worded so weirdly. If you could have someone else's voice from anything you know or from any media for a week, which voice would it be? So if you could have anyone's voice. All right, so like... Real or fictional? I mean, obviously everyone's going to be like, oh, uh, I want to sound like fucking uh, God from Bruce Almighty. I don't think anyone's ever saying that. No. What do you mean? What Morgan fuck? Freeman. Oh, all right, well. You, you could have just said Morgan Freeman. No, because I didn't remember who Morgan Freeman was for a second. <laughs> I mean, oh you know what? God. And that's weird that your brain went there to get to Morgan Freeman. <laughs> anyway. You could have said Wanted Man. He's, you could have said uh, Shawshank Redemption Man. <laughs> oh, that one's a No, because <laughs> primarily where I know him from is from an internet video of him just being like, Hi, I'm God. That's fair. Um, like that's not where I know him from, but you know that's what sticks in my mind the most. Anyway, he was in Batman. Everyone's gonna say, "Yeah, I want to. I want to have Morgan Freeman's voice because ha, ah, deep. Fuck that! I want to walk around as Rita Repulsa for a week. Oh God. Ah, Rangers. Yeah. Um, I have an answer, but Carl, you cannot. <laughs> oh, that's some peaks on the microphone. You you cannot include it in this podcast. Okay. But, but but I will post what? it in general. Carl, you'll know this, and Betty, I believe you'll also know this. This will be new for Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, all you, right. You know. Yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> so, Jordan, for context, uh, an old friend of uh, me, Carl and Betty's, uh, one day f- sent me this uh, p- uh, this video and said that I sound like this person. When I sound nothing like this person. You sound nothing like this. You but sound 
I also but kind of this person. I mimicked voice, this. Uh, it turns out I could do a pretty good impression of this of this person. <laughs> and I would just do. I, I did that for years. What the fuck? But I can't do that anymore. I'm not allowed. You still kind of do it. Yeah, sometimes. It's a funny laugh. Um, I'd like. I, I think Xander Mobus' voice would be nice to have for no particular reason. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> I would love the ability to do a perfect Psychic Pebbles impression. Or Gilbert Gottfried. Just on the spot, jump right into it. I mean, you know why You know why Psychic Pebbles sounds like that, right? No. Uh, he told a story where he got he and his family got into a car accident when he was little. And uh, that's why he sounds like that. I don't think you're telling me the truth, Jordan. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I was gonna say, like, that doesn't that's, sound that's exactly like a thing how the bit happened. Once that, again, another failure no, for no, joining the no, gaslight. Literally, Olympics. that's how the bit went when Zach explained this story. Oh, okay. He was like, I got I got into, into an accident when I was a kid. And then, like, someone asked him, oh, Please, wow, spaghetti that, fills up my true? lap, and I had to slurp it all up. It got stuck in my throat. He, he, and someone asked him, Well, whoa, like, whoa, is that true? And he's like, No. This fucking freak. I hate him. Let's look at another one. Uh, this question is from Ali, and it just says, "How do we? How are we feeling about the helium shortage due to dick inflation?" Dog, are you good? What? Dog, are you all right? Question. Yeah. How is it being inflated? Is it the dick itself, or is this only uncircumcised dicks? And you're just filling up the foreskin like a balloon. Mm, I don't know if I want the answer to that. Hey, hey. Permanent erection. Always up. Uh, 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 I think I'm good with that one. Kindred Plague asks if he had one superhero to crush your balls, who would you pick and why? Midnight. Midnight's Wait, pretty good. In, in like a sexual way or like, well, if it's going to happen, then... All. No, I'll stick with Midnight. Mandalay. Blasted Girl's kind of a baddie. From Incredibles? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, damn, she thick. And malleable. I mean, if it's too much value, then it won't exactly be crushing, will it? True. She it can was make a, a necessary part listen, of the question, she can, she can make her hand into a big hammer. Damn, you right. You could scream like Tom and Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone always saying I want the pretty lady to step on me. I think if a pretty lady step on me, I'd scream like Tom and Jerry. <laughs> what about you, Maddie? Hmm, superheroine who would step on me. Oh, just say. a superhero. A superhero? That could be anyone. Alright, well now I'm trying to think of which superhero would be the most uncomfortable with having to do it. Uh, fucking, uh, what's his name? Fisher? From my hero, the teeth guy. No, no, no! Not most uncomfortable. Like I would be in pain. Oh, most oh, uncomfortable. Like they would be the most freaked out by doing it. Oh, Mineta. Mm. He hate that. All right. First off, drown the grape rat. Second off, two I of agree. you answered my hero characters, so I. I, I was actually going to change my answer to a non-fictional my hero character. Have you? Have y'all seen that OC going around that's actually fairly popular called Ten Ton? No. 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 Okay. So it is this. I've super, never been more intrigued. It's this My Hero OC that has been drawn by a lot of artists who uh, their superpower is they have really big tits and they get really big to the size of 10 tons. But like in, in a uh, tasteful way, not in a like inflation kind of way oh oh i see i see i and, understand and the way that i've seen them drawn has been very cute fairly wholesome at times and very mm -hmm, yeah i see hmm. Interesting. i see because again crushed Boy. by those things is a, i'm essentially getting titty fucked i mean just damn. really hard so yeah that's my answer bring it on 10 ton I believe that's her name. Yeah, no, it is. Oh, oh it is. You I found googled it. it. Yep, there she is. 
I like how you guys keep talking about it while not linking it at all. Yeah, look it up. Google it, idiot! I'm not gonna fucking make typing noises for, Bill, phone. for Carl to edit. Yeah, you got a phone. Now you see, audience, the funny thing about Jordan saying this is that he did indeed earlier on in the podcast type very loudly into his microphone and also slurped his drink twice very loudly into it. But yet he, in this instance, he won't go and search for something to get any context for it, which makes Jordan today's biggest loser and also fired for the eighth time. I don't give a shit if you use your phone as long as it doesn't like blare a sound. It goes boom. Also, we have guests in the server. We can't be linking porn in here. Yes, that's the other thing. <laughs> uh, Holy shit, she's got some big honkery dogs. Uh, yeah, I told yeah, you, yeah. dog. This I is, told you. Yeah, this is just... All right. What if new girl joined 1A and she had massive Dunban honkery? Fuck it, I'm not getting it on care. Fuck him. Yep. Okay. No. <laughs> 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 okay. Jordan agree. Okay. I see. I, I, I see. He's understand. Okay. I've, I've I've now become one of the heads. I I understand now. No, I think I think this image might have made me more gay. Oh. Honestly. <laughs> okay. To be fair, this is this is one of the uh, not better pieces of work. How can you not like it? She's cracking something skull open. It rules. I mean, yeah, that that's just my nuts right there. Hell yeah. One more? Yeah. Sure, one more. Yeah, next question. Yeah. Um, let's see. Chills asks, what are your guys' favorite and least favorite settings in media? Stuff like Cyberpunk, Wild West, Feudal Japan, High School, Post Apocalypse. <sighs> Alright. First off, high school can fuck right the fuck off. I'm I done agree. with it. Too much of it. Hmm. College at least from now on, please. Uh, when college age students are the main demographic of media, uh, sure. As someone who's college aged, shut your face. No, you're not. You, oh. you are someone who's college aged. Yeah, and I'm not the primary de demographic of shit. <laughs> yeah, for like shonen, it makes sense for high school to be a setting because shonen is for younger people. But like, dog, but when it's like every fucking is show. Reading fucking yeah. What do you mean? Fucking... I, how many of us got into fucking manga in high school? No, no, no. I'm saying I what did. high schooler is... Fucking... Uh, I read what high schooler manga. is reading fucking random, almost Eero shit? Yeah. Okay, and it's fair. all set in high school. Does how Ron come every one video half game count? is set in high school? How come... Because I, I, re I, re I read Ronma one half in fucking high school. And I'm pretty sure they I were guess. high schooler age, and I mean there were there was titties in there. Yeah, I still hate high school stuff. I hate high. Yeah, I mean yeah, fair enough. High school can fuck right off. Uh, there are exceptions, of course, but they're still like, man, uh, these are all high schoolers doing this shit, and I'm not a fan of it. Yep. At some points, I mean, Kage, yeah, it's fine because it's nothing that's like. Angel it's Beats? a fucking gag thing. It's funny. It, fuck, fuck Angel Beats. So talk to me about Angel Beats. Oh, okay. I'll Angel Beat you into the ground. Damn. Oh. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of like the fan. hyper reality that you see in something like Tekken, mm. where it's like just real enough for you to believe that real people can exist in this world, but also like wacky enough to be like, oh, oh there's a boxing bear over there. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the Yakuza style worlds are pretty good. I like medieval worlds, but specifically like, like MMO video game worlds, like uh, uh, medieval type worlds where there's still like stat screens and shits, and side quests oh, and I, and chests. I got a message for everybody who runs a D and D game. All right, everybody who runs a D and D game, you gotta listen to me right the fuck now, okay? If your setting has wizards and fighters who can chop someone's head off in one second, then guns are not out of the range of what can be possible. Fuck off. It's true. If the wizard can cast fireball from fucking a wish and a lamb fart, then someone can figure out that sulfur makes a bang. <laughs> 
I mean, steampunk exists because, like... All right, but maybe I want to shoot a wizard. Yeah, but I'm saying steampunk uh, exists in that era. Yeah, I want to shoot the shit out of a steampunk wizard. Yeah. I mean, that too. Hot damn, please. More steampunk things. I would say that I actually... I do agree with Medi with Fuck High School, but also, man... I'm so tired of fucking medieval stuff. I'm tired of here is high fantasy world. Look at all these fantasy things. It's boring after a while, dog. Add something fucking exciting to I it. I guess, yeah. yeah that, that's why I said medieval. Like, unless with, you can punch it up to Terry Pratchett levels. Fuck off. That's why I said medieval, but like dot hack medieval. Yeah, shit where it's like, like what Eddie said, give someone a gun. Make it yeah. more like fucking, hey, we've advanced this medieval world a little more. Hell yeah. Mixing magic and fucking technology is the coolest shit. I also Ooh. don't like space. Nice. And, 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 and not like jumping from planet to planet, just like open space. There's there's nothing. Well, there's I nothing mean, yeah, else. that's just, just how space is, dog. Yeah, but how much? Th- there are plenty of anime where it's just in space. Like, it's a cool setting. For a final battle, because the backgrounds are just, like, pretty stars and shit. But, like, that that's it. I don't need to see the, the in-between. Jordan, what's the setting that you don't like? Did you say that? Oh, that I don't like? Yeah. Yeah. Just favorite and least favorite settings. I don't really have a setting that I'm inherently turned off by. Like, I like a lot of things. Mm-hmm. You're still young. You haven't become bitter to the world yet. You know what I'm not bitter about, though? Boats? Boat facts. Oh, all right. Lay it on me. The Leobov Orlova, built in 1976, was once operated as a cruise ship, exploring the icy waters of Antarctica. However, in 2010, it was seized in a lawsuit by the contractor who ran the cruise ship for... Like over three hundred thousand dollars in unpaid fees, it remained in the dock and up until twenty twelve, where it was bought by Caribbean buyers. In the time where it was being dragged from Canada to the Caribbean, <laughs> the tie that the other ship had on it broke. Uh-oh. So for about a year, it just drifted in international waters, and nobody claimed it. How so did- we could have just stolen a boat. We had our opportunity for a free boat for a whole fucking year. Look at that thing. Look at that beauty. That could have been ours. We could have we could have just got on a cruise ship and went, this is my boat now. I love I that it just says during, <laughs> during happier, happier times. times. <laughs> you know what? That, that, that's the name of our portside bar during happier times. <laughs> there you go. Thank you all for joining us on this exciting episode of Dip Ships. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, remember that podcasts sink or swim based on word of mouth. So share this podcast around with anyone you think would like it. If you know any crackheads, get them help. And, then, and then once they're all helped out, uh, share this oh, podcast oh, with them. Out. Oh, man. Don't forget you can support us directly on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Dip Ships Pod. Do it. Go there. Help, get help us, us to get us to goals. We have a lot of goals. We have a lot of things. Legitimately, get us to that One Piece goal because I want an excuse to watch One Piece. We've got them hook, line, and sinker. Yeah, because I've been thinking about it a lot, and and you keep posting cool shit, and I want to eventually get to that cool shit. Hell yeah, I want to see it. Give me an excuse. Uh, I feel like there's more that I say at the end, but I've forgotten all of it. It's all escaped my head. Uh, 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 follow us on all the things. Yeah. Dip your spot on Twitter. Remember to subscribe and hit that bell if you're on YouTube. Yeah. Remember to wash. Remember to wash your foreskin if you have it. I mean, yeah, that's pretty solid life advice in general. Yeah. Make make sure to get all the helium out of there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Squeeze the helium it's out back in the get atmosphere. It all to escape. We need to fr- imagine. <laughs> make sure when you imagine. open it up, you have a balloon tied to the end, so you can fill it up. So we're not wasting helium. <laughs> That's limited. It's leaving the planet. <laughs> imagine going to have sex with your girlfriend. And she just starts and floating. It just goes. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "Why is it so large?" And you're just like, "Help! Help! I'm going to the ceiling. The fans on." And then it just starts. To... <laughs> 
Oh no! Oh, I got. I just got a horrible image of dick farting. <laughs> oh god, no! And oh, the podcast, no. and the podcast. Yeah, you don't know about podcast. dick but queefs? Negative no. zone okay. queef. Now, now you end the podcast. <laughs> Thank now, you now. all for listening, and we'll see you all in the nautical mile. Toodles. Correct. <laughs>